Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sonny and these are the weekly horoscopes and tarot reading for the weekend of, oh, I guess the weekend tarot reading, right? The weekend horoscopes and tarot reading for the weekend of December 9th to December 11th, 2022. Hey guys, what's up? I hope everyone is having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. Uh, just a couple of notes here for those who don't know. I'm usually going to do a little blah blah at the beginning. There will be timestamps in the description box below. And today we're going to do a little thing. Uh, of course, I'm going to talk to you guys about the psychic game. I'll have a little astrological overview. We'll talk a little bit about Brittany Griner and stuff that's showing up in her chart because she's popular in the news this weekend. Uh, and then there's a sale on readings. And that's the deal. <laughs> that's all the news for today. I hope everyone has a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. Um, it's fun to watch the videos on a little fast forward, right? To speed the video up because I can be a little long-winded and it's a little fun. Uh, in addition to that, obviously, there are timestamps in the description box. All right, let's get on with it. First up, there is a sale on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, I wrote down the sale. Oh, I wrote. So here we go. There's a sale on personal reading. So if you want a private reading over Zoom, my readings are usually $235. I used to write horoscopes for the newspapers in Canada. I've been writing horoscopes for you guys for a long time. I teach astrology online, and I also teach a uh, tarot class. So like, <laughs> if you want to... Uh, also, this is a very, very, very psychic channel. At nighttime, we play a game where we guess the tarot cards. So whatever, man. <laughs> so if you're interested in a personal reading, they're usually $235. But for now, until uh, Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever... For the end of the year, uh, if, as long as you book uh, and you prepay within the year, uh, the discount is, instead of 235 from now until January 1st, it's 185 over Zoom. And um, so what else is there? 185 for one reading over Zoom. Obviously, you can pay for it now and you can get the reading in January if you want. Or you can buy one and get the second reading at half price. If you buy one and get the second reading at half price, it comes to $352, and the second reading is uh, going to be, so the first reading is $235. The second reading, if you're buying a gift for a friend, is down to $117.50. It's in half, right? So so either one reading for $185, it's all in American prices, right? Or the second, or buy one, get the other one, it's half price. So one at $235, the other at $117.50, and that's the deal. I'm going to let you guys know that I didn't change any of the PayPal links on any websites or any YouTube or any Facebook or any Twitter, anything. So if you want to get that price, because it's for you guys, right? This is not for random. It's for people who watch my horoscope videos. So this is where I'm telling you the sale is. So if you want, uh, you know, if you want it, then you have to email me at readswithsunny at gmail.com. And there are links everywhere for that. <laughs> that email is everywhere. It's on my website, thesunnyside.net. And that's the deal. Re so if you want, the book and you want the discount and it's reads with sunny at gmail.com and that's the deal all right everybody cool let's get on to the next thing <laughs> so timestamp what else did i write down next all right so we play a little psychic game i wrote my picks down just as we began i don't usually i started to do this on the horoscopes because lisa was doing it live and then sue was picking in advance and some so the guys who are picking in advance are actually doing quite well so I decided to write it down and hopefully it saves time on the video, but whatever. <laughs> Next, so in the psychic game so far for the month of December and last month, just to let you guys know, last month, Sue J won, uh, Sunny, me, I came in second. And then in third, Lisa came in uh, third. It was a tight game. <laughs> it was tight last month. This month so far, we have this so far this month for the month of December, and it's been a little... Uh, a, uh, sporadic because I haven't um I have, I've been busy at night I haven't been coming online doing the game for you guys but here we go so far this month uh it's sunny on the leaderboard we have sunny me tn dr p ginger jasmine itself is elizabeth right and lp all of us all of these guys have one point for the month of december sunny tn dr p ginger jasmine it's all and Elizabeth, the game, I keep score for all of uh, the Sunnyside members. It's only five bucks to become a member. It's not really that much. <laughs> um, and starting in January, we're going to be, I'm going to be giving prizes to the winners. So, um, and the prizes come obviously from the merchandise, right? 
And so here we go. So that's the deal. What's going on? So, so, so far for December, Sunny, TN, Dr. P, Ginger, Jasmine, Itzel, and Elizabeth all have one point. Good luck, guys. That's the Psyche game. My picks for today are the Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, Lovers, and the Devil. And that's the deal. All right. So there we go. <laughs> so Psyche game. So discount on readings. Oh, crud. I didn't do what we're supposed to do. And now getting down to everything. Are you guys ready? Bummer. I missed it. It's the very first thing I wrote at the top, too. So what we used to do on the show, when I'm trying to get back to the old show here, guys. And in the old show, we used to do a bunch of things that sort of uh, have been left by the wayside over the years. And the first thing we used to do when I came online was always take a moment and uh, express things that we are grateful for. So let's just take a moment and, you know, take a moment and think about you know, express some of the things that you're grateful for in today's life. <laughs> like, I'm great, very grateful for my parents. I'm extremely grateful. My father passed away a couple of weeks ago, so I'm very uh, grateful for Mama Sunshine. I'm extremely grateful for everything that Papa Sunshine has done for me. I'm very, very grateful for the sunny side here, my YouTube channel and the sunny side community. I'm very grateful for you guys, and I'm very grateful for my wife, SLC, in the States. And there we go. So those are the things I'm grateful for. My parents, Mom, Sunshine. I'm grateful for the sunny side. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. And, um, you know, I'm grateful from SLC. If I had an 1111 wish on this channel, we also make 1111 wishes. And this isn't, it's usually at nighttime. Uh, but if I had an 1111 wish to start off with, and, and you guys should do this, express what you're grateful for in the morning and express your 1111 wish. I want to grow my channel. This channel here, not the other channels, but this particular channel to 100,000 subs this year. And that's what I'm looking for. And for you guys, I'll need your help to share the horoscope videos, maybe tell your friends about it, maybe get a reading, maybe buy some of the merchandise, whatever. But I'd like you to help me, that's my 1111 wish, to grow this channel, the sunny side, to 100,000 subs this year. And that's the deal, guys. All right, everybody cool? <laughs> so that's our 1111 wish, a little bit of the psychic game, the discount on the readings, and what we're grateful for. In addition to all of that, I put my coffee mug behind my microphone on the desk. So you're going to hear this thump <laughs> every time I go to drink some coffee today. Ah, uh, Sonny, it's a video. Can't you guys edit it out? Dude, it's a video that you're holding in your hand that you pushed a button to watch. Can't you go like this and fast forward to your sign? All right, next. <laughs> uh, next. Let's move on. All right. Before we get to the overview, I wanted to, to start this a couple of days ago or the last horoscopes with um, Alex Jones. He was in the news and he was quite popular and he was going through a thing that many of you guys might be going through. He was going through bankruptcy and bankruptcy means protection from your creditors. In addition to that, uh, he had it in his astrological chart, money problems at a particular time in his life. He also had success financially, but he also it was also in his chart that he would have money problems or challenges with money or people trying to take his money away. He also It also indicates he's going to have problems with his love life. It also um, indicates he's probably going to be a bit of a chubby guy. <laughs> so those are all parts of the things in his chart. Alex Jones's chart. Now, in this particular chart today, Let's pull it up and have a look. Oh, I'll show you in one sec. Uh, Brittany Griner, so amazing. I don't know if she was, well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> what the chart says. Here we go. Let's get down to it. Let's get down to it. Brittany Griner for a couple of minutes, and then I'll do the overview for you guys. And then, then we'll have the tarot reading for everyone. We can, you can guess the cards if you like, and then the individual horoscopes. This video will be about two and a half hours today. Okay, next. So this is Brittany Griner's chart right here. Check this out, guys. So, for those who don't know, I think I just I think I just said it, but I teach an astrology class online, and one of the questions on the exam, the level one exam, is uh, to it's to identify or name some astrological positions where you're going to go to jail in your chart. So signs in an astrological chart that you might do jail time. There are also signs in an astrological chart that you're going to be 
improperly prisoned or you're going to get blamed for things you didn't do. And when I'm reading the charts for you live at night, all the time, all the time, you know, people are going to blame you for things you didn't do. Uh, it happens to so many people or this, you might uh, run away from home or there might be problems at home or there's going to be problems with people believing you or communication problems or driving problems. It's all part, similar part of the chart or you're going to possibly have your restriction move, your, res your movement restricted, or you might go to jail. All right, those are the deal. That's the deal. Uh, again, that's on the exam, right? If you want to see a copy of the exam, it's on my website, thesunnyside.net. Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. So what's up with Brittany Griner? So here we go. So astrologically, she very clearly has signs that she might go to jail in this chart. So we don't know her birth time or I don't have her birth time. And I'm setting it up in such a way that I put, I set the chart up so that it's easy for you guys to see. Obviously, I don't really need to set it up like this for me to see what's going on, right? I do it a different way, but like here, it's easy to see. And you're going to, so we don't know what her ascendant is. And that's neither here nor there because we're going to do planetary aspects today. And you can do, read a chart using planetary aspects without knowing the ascendant. What you won't know is the actual position of the moon or the degree of the moon, but you will know within 12 degrees, uh, but you won't know the exact position of the moon and you're definitely not going to know the exact position of the ascendant or the midheaven, which are important for certain things, not necessarily uh, important to indicate what's going through, what's going on today. Now, today, when you're looking at restricted movement, you're going to see Saturn three houses from the sun. It's one of the places you're going to see restricted movement, like going to a private school, like, you know, your airplane, not your airplane delay, but going to a private school, going to jail, joining the army per se, the military has restricted movement, uh, car problems, bus problems, bicycle problems, like whatever, how you transport yourself or your ability to move around is somewhat restricted. And one of the ways you could be restricted is by going to jail, obviously. And she absolutely has it in her chart. It's right there. It's right there. Here, I will circle it for you and draw an arrow. It's right there. Okay, this is the sun. 24 degrees, 24 degrees. Whoops, 24. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, let's put it back. So, anyways, without getting too stressed out about it, she does. Now, to have that alone in your chart is not necessarily enough for me to say, oh, you're going to jail. But I am going to say you're going to have your movement restricted in that situation. When this planet, when certain things line up here and it's, uh, so a Saturn alone in the third house is not enough to say you're going to jail, guys. It's like, it's not like, not from the sunny side here. Maybe some other astrologer would say that, or I wouldn't say that. It has to be coupled with a couple of things, with some other energy. It's not just having your movement restricted. It's having your, uh, because there, you also have to want to, you know, like you might want to see violence in chart. You might want to see breaking the rules. You might want to see sneaky behavior. There are lots of reasons for going to jail. One of the reasons going to jail is being blamed for something you didn't necessarily do. And that, and, and that tends to be behind the sun over here. Now, her moon, we don't exactly know where her, her moon is, right? Because we don't have her birth time. But we do know, and because I set the chart quite early for you guys, we do know that the moon at this time of day at 7 a.m., it's probably going to be anywhere from 20 degrees all the way up to about maybe 29 degrees. I know, you know, it can go, it can go a little bit further, but I don't think it does in this. She's a basketball player, so it's highly unlikely that she has a void moon in her chart, right? She, she's going to have energy to play basketball. <laughs> so it's unlikely that her moon is void. Also, she's a successful basketball player. So anyways, back here, we do have hidden stuff in her chart. Oh, there's one more thing. It's more than likely that the moon is either conjunct the sun or just a little in front of the sun. Like she's born under a new moon. It indicates someone who's definitely going to put herself first. Can indicate a little bit selfish, a little bit narcissism, a little bit, oh, I'm going to do what I want because the moon is what you want to do. The sun is shining and it's you doing what you want to do. So that's the deal. She could possibly be a little bit headstrong, but all of this energy in Libra is someone who just wants to get along. For the most part, Libras don't usually break rules per se. 
they can uh, be they can be very argumentative and they can be very sneaky libras don't necessarily tell the truth i'm just saying regular stuff uh, most of them are very beautiful and really really nice people um but there's a tendency for like certain things to happen anyways whatever in this girl's chart she does just to let you guys know and then i'll speed through and we'll move on because it's gone too long now uh this is turning into a regular reading instead of a quick horoscope thing here she has secret and she gets into secret relationships in the chart um she gets into secret relationships in the chart that's that's about it like so uh but it's usually good things that happen behind the scenes uh, we know that she's, you know, bisexual. She has that in her chart as well. She has a bit of Gemini energy combined with Libra energy, putting herself first in secret relationships, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, did she do it? Did she didn't do it? She probably got set up. Maybe she didn't know what was going on. I was blaming her for a while saying, how could someone be that silly and do something like that? Uh, for the most part, it's unlikely that a Libra would intentionally cause drama like this. So with all this Libra energy, it's unlikely she would have done it um, on purpose. Uh, even though the Gemini energy is going to make her take chances and the Gemini energy is going to make her try and get away with things a little bit. I, like she's probably, now that I'm just looking at this chart, she's probably smarter than that. But like seriously, I was making a lot of fun of her saying, oh, this chick is just stupid. But like, why would you go and be so rude in another country to do this? You can't be like, just walk around. With it. But then, and we had a big talk about it this morning, actually. What was she doing? But looking at her chart here, it looks like maybe she was set up a little bit. A heads up, just showing what I said. So we have very clear signs of going to jail in the chart. Uh, we have, that's it, clear signs of going to jail. Uh, just to let you know, there's a possibility she might get sick. <laughs> you know, she has that in her chart, possibly getting sick. She does have moving things away from home to let you know. She has problems, very, very, very big problems out into the world publicly. So this lines up. Now, just a quick little shoot around here to show you what's going on and why this is happening. Now we're hearing the announcement, but it's very clear as well. You can see that Mars is retrograde, right? Mars is, is red and it's retrograde like that. You can see, so... And it's coming down, right? It's coming towards her. It's been dancing back and forth across her natal Mars at the top of the chart. That's causing problems with her energy. But we also have Uranus retrograde. We also have these nodes are about to square. For those who don't know or those who, you know, if you follow the channel, you'll, we talk about this all the time. But her nodes are about to square the transiting nodes. That's going to indicate a very, very big change in her life. She might get sick. Like... Anyways, let's just go back one second to this didn't happen overnight. This is transiting energy that arcs like that. It takes a little bit of a of time. Saturn uh, recently changed directions. Pluto had to change directions. Um, Jupiter's changing directions. You know, Neptune changing directions. Like we had a lot. To, she, there was a lot that had to go through for this uh, for her to a lot of energy that was moving backwards that was stuck had to clear up astrologically before this could happen. And it's not finished yet, right? Mars is still, uh, you know, cruising back here. Now, just before we move on, there is something you'll notice about this. And it's a little weird. You'll say, well, Sonny, these aren't exact angles. You usually don't do anything without exact angles. And you're right. Except in this situation, once again, it's energy in motion. And it's a lot of energy in motion that's cramping her style and this this transfer you can almost guarantee that it didn't happen overnight and you can guarantee that there were a number of these events which really pushed up against things to cause this to happen so it's not a today thing although it's being announced today and she's traveling today right travel mars retrograde coming back right moving forward by looking backwards is what i've been telling you guys for the last month and so it's all here all right let's move on this is i spent too much time talking about this and it's pretty obvious so that's the deal so watch out so watch out and you'll you will see that the planets they they're they're arcing in <laughs> okay all right next let's get on with the uh the general overview and move on with it i'll talk if you guys want to know more about her chart i'll talk about it at nighttime. 
or maybe I'll make a little video for you guys. But as this took about 10 minutes, I don't see myself making another video for you guys. So now here's what's important. As I set this up, if you meet a guy and like, again, of course, there are more aspects in the chart uh, that I would say will lock down going to jail in your chart. But if you want to know more about it, sign up for one of my classes, you know, come hang out on the sunny side at night, ask the questions and see what kind of answer you get. But that's one of the things, signs of going to jail in your astrological chart. All right, next, let's get down to it. Let's put some, let's do it. General overview for everyone. All right, guys, here we go. First up, what do you need to know about this general overview for the weekend? So we just had a full moon. We're coming out of this. The sun is over there in Sagittarius, the moon, this red line opposite. That's what a full moon looks like astrologically. This full moon did tie in a little bit with Mars. It didn't really tie, like it ties in a little bit with Mars. It's pretty almost act, exact, actually. <laughs> it's like it's pretty intense. It's full moon does tie in with Mars. I mean, it, we talked about this in the last horoscopes. It's going to make this loose square. You know, give it a little bit of time. It may or may not activate. It's all, you know, Mars is moving in this direction. So Mars isn't going to activate anything for a while. So I wouldn't worry about it. Not those guys anyways. It'll come into contact with some other stuff. So that's what the full moon looks like. Now, what happens during full moons? Well, you find things. I'll tell you what I found. I found my zombie. Hey, Sonny, how are you guys doing? Robbie, is that you? Yes, Sonny, I'm astral projecting. You left me in Chicago. Sonny, do you remember us? <laughs> hey, Trey, my Christmas tree. Oh, no, my Christmas tree and my zombie. You got, yeah, Sonny, we're astral projecting. All right, whatever. So, so, just to let you get, so that kind of stuff happens under full moon. So I was just going through my stuff and right on the dresser, on the or like right there on top of everything was my little zombie. Zombie is part of a different show here on the sunny side. And so unbelievable. So full moon, secrets are exposed. Full moon, you find things. Uh, information is uncovered to you. It's revealed. Uh, secrets hidden. Uh, that's what's going on. You know, if the guy's been stalking you, you find out who it is. If, you know, if full moon, if they're going to release Brittany Griner, we're going to find out under the, you know, full moon. Is it always, um, do you find, is the full moon the time where you find out everything? No, not at all. You could find things out any day of the week. However, things that are hidden, things you don't know about, or things you may have lost, return to the light under the full moon. And they sure did. And now it's up to you guys to see what you're going to do moving forward. That was the energy we're coming out of. And it's the response to that energy as we're moving forward. So maybe you found out that your boyfriend is actually dating somebody else. You know, what are you going to do in the next couple of days? Maybe you're going to find out that you didn't get the job, or maybe you find out that you did get the job, or maybe you find out that the guy really does like you. Watch this. This week, Venus, or this weekend, Venus is going to square Jupiter. Does that look like a good thing? <laughs> Does that look like a good thing? Oh, there's one thing I wanted to mention about the Brittany Griner. No, I'll save it for another day. So this is, this could be a little tense, you know? So this Venus is so Venus wants to be happy and get out there. This is not the worst square in the world, guys. Venus in Sagittarius, Sagittarius wants to get out there. Sagittarius wants to have fun. Sagittarius is a straight shooter. They want to get things done. They're very philo philosophical. They're quite spiritual. They love to travel and see the other side of the world. Whereas, and they, but they're very factual. They're very factual. Like this is it. This is it. This is it. Sagittarians make great professors at university, great teachers, 
they're really smart people. And so Venus is there and the sun is there, but it's squaring all this luck and expansion in, Jup uh, in Pisces. And Pisces is kind of taking everything on faith. And so you have facts interfering with faith right now. And that seems to be the problem. This is the big picture and this is the small picture. And that's where the full moon is, right? It's highlighting the big picture and the small picture. Uh, we're focused on the big picture right now, but we're uncovering small details. This was an interesting full moon. All right, what else is going on? You'll find out that the cost of goods, you know, you'll find out what's really happening. But secrets are being exposed. Anyways, as we continue, you're, there might be a little bit of a problem in the love game. Like, you, it should blow up. Love and rapport uh, should blow up a lot in the next couple of days. It should be really popular, a really successful love and romance, except that it's square. So it's not necessarily to your liking, or you're going to have to adjust somehow to make it work. And that's the action, guys. That's the brief overview for everybody, and I really hope you have a super amazing day. So once again, this weekend, the moon's going to be in Gemini, and then it's cruising through to Cancer. This means we're all going to be communicating. The moon is going to be crossing Mars, so you guys are going to be getting things done. Moon conjunct Mars is very impulsive, and there's a desire to put a lot of energy into that hidden or unknown part of you. And so that's what you're going to do. You're going to put a lot of energy into making your hidden hopes, dreams, and aspirations come true. There's a warning. If your moon leads you to some nefarious activities, right, then that's where you're going to be. Uh, that's the direction you're going to be led this weekend. So be careful. So be careful, right? You're going to follow your subconscious desires and with a lot of aggression and maybe a competitive urge. And everybody's going to see you do it. So if you're going to follow this part of you, make sure that part of you is going in a, to a place that is cool for people to see. <laughs> so make sure it's going to a place where you need to be. You know, there are some people going to jail, <laughs> right? They need to be going there <laughs> or whatever. I'm just joking. There's, um, it's, that's what's going on. So make sure your game is tight uh, because that's the action. You're going to be pushing your subconscious intentions this weekend. And that's the deal. I wish everyone the absolute best. Um, there you go. There you go. There you go. There's a little bit more, but that's going to happen next week. We'll take on, uh, we'll do a little bit more for next week, like when the sun approaches its square to, whoops, to Neptune here. When the sun starts approaching its square to Neptune. What am I doing? When the sun approaches its square to Neptune, we'll talk a little bit about more of that on the weekend. All right, next, let's get down to the general uh, tarot reading for everybody. So for those in the background who want to play the psychic game, then now is the time to guess the cards. Oh, goodness. Well, I'll take another picture of this. All right, let's do it. Time to guess the cards, guys. I picked Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, Lovers, and the Devil. Let's shuffle it a little more. Why not? <laughs> so we'll get down to it. Please share the video. Please enjoy the day. You know, quick to forgive, slow to anger whatever <laughs> let's go on with it all right here we go first up normally when we're guessing the cards at night and we're playing the game i usually hold it like this you guys can see but like it takes too long to twist the cards around mm, that computer over there okay here we go guys general tarot reading for everybody knight of wands page of cups lovers and the devil first up king of cups oh bummer <laughs> king of cups is okay guys king of cups is here, watch out. Check this out. Check out the cards I'm using right now. Uh, I also, these, I started using these cards because it's these, this particular, I started showing you guys these particular cards because they have the definitions on them and they're a lot easier for you guys to, to read. And it's, it makes teaching a lot easier for me. King of Cups, right? Emotionally balanced. This is the most intuitive of the intuitive cards. This card is right side up. It's about compassion, dignity, helping others. Kings are responsible, taking control of the situation. So someone who's diplomatic, someone who's highly, highly, highly intuitive. <laughs> so get out there. Use your intuition. And uh, it's a great weekend to be compassionate and just generally nice to people. And then we get the Knight of Cups reversed. Did I say the Knight of Cups? Oh, I said the Knight of Wands. Bummer. 
Oh, bummer. Okay, Knight of Cups reversed. Well, the Knight of Cups is rushing around in love. You know, it's rushing around in love. It's like a teenager in love. Creativity, romantic, charming, imagination, harmony. But this card is reversed. So either you guys recently met someone and it's not working out, or you guys are rushing around for love and it's not working out, or you're waiting in vain for love. And that's the deal. Look at this. So we have the King of Cups, which indicates responsibility in love, compassion, and taking care of others, and definitely trusting your intuition. Then we have the Knight of Cups, which is normally about falling in love and running around and telling everybody. But in this situation, the Knight of Cups is reversed. So whatever's going on in love, all this rushing around is not necessarily working for you guys. Meaning if you're expecting someone to come and visit you, uh, a loving kind of thing, it might not necessarily work out. So watch out for that. Traveling for love might not work right now and rushing around telling everybody you're in love. Be careful, you might come out of this with a little bit of egg on your face. That means you might get a little bit, become a little bit embarrassed about what's happening, so be careful. Then we have the tower, reverse. So this, to me, indicates that you guys are actually breaking up in games of love. So watch out, this, the tower, things usually come crashing down with the tower, and even though the card is reversed, look, sudden change, upheaval, chaos, when this card's reversed, there's a tendency, like it's not like it's not going to happen. It's still Mars energy. It's still a disruptive card. Uh, but I like to think there's going to be a bit of a delay with this change coming. But this change or thing coming crashing down is quite inevitable. Uh, it, and that's all I'm going to say. Like I'm, I would be nice to say, oh, it's happening for a long time or something like that. But this card doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. It's been happening for a long time. It actually often means that it's going to happen quite unexpectedly. So be careful, guys. This to me looks like uh, there's the potential for some kind of love in relationship or you've been loving in relationship, trusting your intuition. But it appears as if someone you're running around thinking very romantically about is very much going to let you down. So be careful. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Oh, my God. It looks like there's breakup energy here. This is a very responsible weekend, guys. And then we have the Queen of Swords. This is you know, using your brains, <laughs> like Queen of Swords. Try not to be, you know, but it's compassionate, right? The king is psychic or intuitive, uh, the queen, king of cups. And the Queen of Swords is telling everybody to use your brains, right? Just don't lash out. Just don't be silly. Change is coming, right? This is unbiased judgment, right? Clear boundaries, direct communication, clear mind, perceptive. So what you're going to see is you have on this side of the reading anyways, the King of Cups clearly saying to use your intuition and the Queen of Swords is clearly saying, you know, be honest and truthful with your intentions, especially to yourself, especially to yourself, but of course with other people around you, because if you, you know, you, you're going to want to, it's just to be honest and truthful, right? Unbiased. Um, in other words, don't spread any nonsense about people because over here, it looks like there's a breakup and there's a bit of a falling out that's going to happen. So be careful. Boom. Eight of Wands. Oh, man, I wanted to say this card, you know, but I thought, well, it was good. All right. Eight of Wands. Did I say this card? No. <laughs> so Eight of Wands, but it's reversed. So the Eight of Wands is everybody on board with things. It's not really that com complicated, really. The Seven of Wands is uh, defending your position. And then after you defend your position, you get to the Eight of Wands, which is like, let's get on with things. Everybody's on the same page. Unfortunately, this card is reversed. So there's going to be delays. Guys, we know there's... So for whatever reason, something is happening where there are definitely delays. People might have problems traveling. Uh, something screwy is going to happen at a distance. You guys are not on the same page or you're not working effectively together. There is an ending coming, right? The tower is reversed. There's a delayed ending on the way. And really, that Knight of Cups, that love affair you guys were hoping for is not going to work out the way you expect it. Which, and I kind of think that's hilarious. But I wish you guys the best at the same time. And finally, one more card. Oh, man, Sunny. Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, Lovers in the Double. You're going to get anything? This I don't know. I didn't. Okay, whatever. I didn't really try that hard, but whatever. And finally, boom. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles reverse. Oh, man. Well, money's going to be a little messed up, guys. If anyone guessed any of these cards, leave it in the description box. I'd love to, to hear what happened. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, guys. These are uh, lucky in money 
or a new breakthrough financially, but this card is totally reversed. So you guys are hooped. <laughs> so you guys, you know, reverse lost opportunity. You guys kind of suck. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna drag ass good job guys <laughs> whatever whatever i don't you know you shouldn't blame yourself in this situation because when you you look at it you take it down like you most of you guys were really you might have been all in and uh, with the knight of cups you probably were all in in the situation but someone really let you down somehow they're not going to show up the eight of wands is reversed you guys aren't on the same page and the ace of pentacles indicates things are expensive they're not going to get any better anytime soon. <laughs> and that comfort and security you're hoping for is delayed. Would you give, would I recommend that you guys give up? Of course not. Is there a delay? There's a delay. And that's the action, guys. Wishing everybody the best. If you want to, once again, let me know in the comments if you guessed any of these cards. Otherwise, or if you have any questions. And that's the action. Everybody cool? All right. Let's get on to Aries. Let's get on to Aries. I wish everyone the best. Let's get on to Aries. All right, Aries, let's do it. I hope you're having a super amazing day. Let's get down to it. So astrologically, this weekend, uh, you're going to... So Aries, right? So astrologically, this weekend, the moon is going to be crossing your astro sector of communication, short trips, um, communication and transportation. <laughs> like seriously, talking on the phone, buying a cell phone dealing with cars, buying a car. Now, Mars is there, right? And Mars has been there for a while, Aries. And for a while, I've been saying, watch for car accidents, watch for dropping your cell phone in the toilet, watch for breaking your computer. In addition, watch for arguing with people, watch for fighting with your brothers and sisters, right? All that kind of energy. Maybe you're putting a lot of energy into buying a car. Maybe Aries are thinking about buying a car or a computer right now. Uh, if you are, just let me know in the comment section, right? In addition to that, now the thing with the fighting, right, especially online, this could indicate that Aries are putting a lot of energy into, you know, creating an online newsletter or some kind of YouTube channel or some kind of communication thing. Saturn, now these planets, Saturn's going direct now. So Aries might have been fighting on social media recently, but now instead of all this fighting that you were doing, it's more likely... Uh, that now you're putting a lot of hard work into social media or a lot of hard work into groups of people. Meaning, maybe Aries, you received a job recently or maybe Aries, you decided to take your online kind of business to another level or maybe you wanted to go social media crazy or something. But uh, it's a lot of hard work and effort is going in to make that part of your life successful. In addition to that, you might be putting a lot of hard work into dealing with groups of people. So although I said down here, maybe it's car accidents and that kind of stuff or buying a new car, there's this possibility, Aries, you're just driving everyone around. Like seriously, like this is communication, transportation, and you know, that's everybody. <laughs> everybody, everybody is stressing Aries out right now. All right, whatever, Sonny. <laughs> whatever, we all know that. Hey, Aries, shortly... Jupiter is going to be back into your first house. Jupiter is going to enter into Aries shortly. And when it does, you're going to be super lucky again. Pisces is going to be making a lot of money. Aries is going to be super lucky. Aries is going to have to watch out for gaining weight next year. Seriously, Aries has to watch out for gaining weight next year. All right, so that's that. And next year, you're also going to have to watch out for being blamed for things that you didn't do, right? Like, remember in Brittany Griner's chart, she has uh, that some stuff behind her son. It's kind of like in the 12th house kind of thing and kind of like it uh, or it behaves in a similar fashion uh, for you. You're going to be entering into that kind of vibe next year. So next year, you're going to have to uh, you're going to be larger than life next year. Aries is going to be a center of attention next year. And but at the same time, you're going to have a lot of haters next year. And next year, Aries are going to be blamed for things they didn't do. All right. Next on the plus side. Venus Aries is attracting a lot of love from the di from a distance. So Aries might be in relation. Aries might be traveling. Aries might be going back to school. Aries might fall in love with someone at a distance. Someone might, at a distance might come and visit Aries. Right, that's the deal. Next week, beginning next week, Aries is going to be very, very high visibility, very popular everywhere Aries goes. 
you might as well be wearing like a Santa Claus outfit because everybody's going to walk up to you and start talking to you. That's next week. And we'll talk about more of that on uh, when we do the next horoscopes. But on this, for this particular weekend, looks like Aries might be traveling, going back to school, studying something very philosoph uh, philosophical, moving around quite a bit. There is a full moon probably in highlighted something about, you know, about your phone, right? You might have noticed that your phone had apps on it that you didn't realize or that you have someone's phone number that you didn't realize or someone out of the blue is going to contact you or your brother or sister is going to contact you or a close friend, you know, something crazy like that's going to happen. Um, and that's the deal. It's continuing, right? It's going to continue. But for Aries, it should be quite a communicative weekend. You know, a little rushing around, short trips, driving people around. And towards the end of the weekend, you're probably going to want to stay at home. So if you're either traveling, people are either, you're either traveling, people are coming to visit you, probably, it's going to be probably pretty happy, Aries. Although watch out for fighting with the brothers and sisters. Towards the end of the weekend, you're going to want to stay at home. And that's the deal. And that things actually look pretty good for Aries. But things are going to get really good for Aries soon. But for now, Aries, just take it all with a grain of salt. Watch, uh, get out, have a lot of fun, and watch your driving. All right, next, let's go check the tarot for Aries. Here we go. Aries, you are up. Let's see what your cards say. First up, ba -ba -da, Page of Cups. Well, there you go. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Aries, Page of Cups, Creative Opportunities. One sec. There's something. I know your screen seems fine. My screen seems a little screwy. Aries, Page of Cups, Creative Opportunities. Right, the page, the pages, right? Beginning, learning, figuring things out. The cups have a bit of creativity, nurturing, loving kind of vibe, right? Creative opportunities, intuitive messages, curiosity, happy surprises, Aries. So get out there. Oh, possibility of a new love. So Aries, get out there. It looks like the, the answer is yes. So if you're waiting for something and you're not sure what's going on, first, Aries don't usually wait for things, but... Aries, if you get out there, even if something is new, you might meet somebody. So Aries, if you're single and looking, this is a, apparently a really good time for you. I think next week is a really good time for Aries. Actually, let me show you something. So astrologically for Aries, right now the moon is down here, right? The moon is cruising through here this weekend. So it's Aries is going to kind of want to stay at home. But come Monday or Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, when the moon is over here, Aries is going to be super romantic at the beginning of the week. And then the moon is going to arc through here for the weekend. And when the moon next weekend arcs up through here, Aries are going to start to go out into the world. And Venus is over here, which makes Aries very popular. So Aries, you know, do your thing at home this weekend. Get together with everybody. Uh, if you find someone new, by all means, Aries, get out and... Uh, I don't mean get out, but all means... Talk to the person, strike up a conversation, see what happens. Because we have the Page of Cups. Now, it's not if it's not a love affair, maybe you're going to start a creative project, right? It's not always about love affairs. Then we have the Sun card, Aries. So the Sun card is uh, it's the new you, expressing yourself, being born into the light of a beautiful new day. So Aries, whatever the action is, go get him, man. Go get him. Have a lot of fun. See what's out there. This is new beginnings so look at this aries it looks like you have a new beginning coming and in addition to you having a new beginning it looks as if there's possible romantic new beginning as well maybe life is you know a new life is is going to be uh breathed into an old relationship and then we have the ace of swords finally aries the ace of swords this is mental clarity this is making a decision but it's not like the two of swords where you're going to be like, oh, this is the ace of swords. You're going to do it. You might meet someone new, Aries. You might have a breakthrough in communication with an old friend. But here we go. Mental clarity, breakthroughs, new ideas, success, sharp mind. It also says new conflict, but let's not worry about that. Let's look at the bright side for today. Aries, it looks like a possibility of a new relationship, new form of communication, but whatever happens at the end of the day, I think you got this. The sun card says you are going to shine this week, Aries. So you're right, Aries. Be awesome. Be the best. You're Aries. Go be the best. This is your week to go be you. Uh, maybe you're going to get a new job this week. Maybe you're going to hear about a new job this week. Maybe you're going to hear about a new love affair this week. Maybe someone's going to give you a car. 
And that's the Actionaries. Wishing you guys the best. And I'll see you guys soon. All right, Taurus, let's do it. So what's your action, Taurus? So the moon is arcing through your second house and then your third house this weekend. So, and this is the full moon, right? So we're going to have a full moon here. On Thursday, there's a full moon. Then Friday, you're going to feel the effects of it. And then Saturday, Sunday, the moon's going to move on into Cancer. Very nurturing time for Gem, uh, for Taurus. So Taurus, for the first half of the week, so you see this, Taurus, on the first half of the weekend, the moon is going to have you focused on your finances. In addition to that, there's a full moon happening in your astro sector of sheer of, of finances, you know, your stuff, your possessive stuff. And so you're probably and the moon and Mars is here. Like moon is conjunct the Mars. This and but it's a retrograde Mars. It could indicate that you're gonna be overwhelmed, <laughs> overwhelmed with um wanting to make a purchase this weekend. Uh, maybe there's something you've always wanted to buy. Maybe you're going to go all out and shop like crazy and buy that thing this weekend, Taurus. Maybe a, like a couch or something for the house, uh, something really stable for you. Or you're going to work on your stability this weekend. You might network with people who might help you find a job. You might network with people who are going to help you further your career. Maybe you're going to do something to make sure that you get paid, Taurus. Maybe you're going to focus on your finances your job, your network, you making money, and that's the deal. Uh, but whether and, and that's the deal. You might find out that you thought you were going to get paid for something and you're not getting paid for it, right? Some unexpected event is going to happen with your money and it's going to come out. Or maybe you're going to find out that you have more money than you thought you did. You know, so it could go either way, but, you know, we'll <laughs> keep your eyes open for it because that's what's happening. In the second half of the weekend, uh, you're going to want to get a, together with friends and family, and you're going to want to communicate a lot, talk to a lot of people. You're going to be moving around a lot, a lot of errands in the second half of the weekend. But in the first half of the weekend, it's all about your money. Way over at the top of the chart, not quite at the top of the chart, but over here, there's still very good things happening with your joint finances. Like Venus is there, so Taurus is still receiving money. Uh, so they probably still coming into a lump sum of money. There's a possibility of that. Taurus is still winning like a legal battle, still winning some kind of legal money, maybe getting a government check. Maybe you drove into someone recently and smashed up your car and you're getting an insurance check. You know, that kind of thing is happening right now. So that's the deal with Taurus. Keep your eyes open because there should be some good things uh, happening to you financially, especially if you're a Taurus born later in the month. All right, next. What else is going on with Taurus? So the highlight is on joint finances. Uh, maybe you're going to inherit some money. <laughs> that uh, going to keep watch your credit card at the top of the chart it continues a lot of hard work is happening for Taurus uh on the career front it might not be the way you want to do it because it is Saturn but when wherever Saturn is hard work is rewarded so Taurus you put in the effort you put in the effort and you'll be rewarded so good luck with your career uh good luck with your career Taurus work it work it work it work it and see Taurus Saturn is arcing through in this direction right now, and it's going to be there for another four years. <laughs> so, like, you know, until it gets down, a lot of four or five years or so. So, like, for Taurus, get used to it. <laughs> get used to problems at work. Get used to putting a lot of hard work in at the office. Get into, like, just get used to it, because that's what's happening. Regardless of what arcs around in the future to join in and say hello, that's what's going on right now, and it's going to be like that for the next little while. On the plus side, Taurus, Saturn is no longer, like, unless you're a Taurus at 20 degrees and above, like a Taurus born in the third half of Taurus, unless that's the case, which for a third of you it is the case, I guess, um, you're out of the identity problems. But actually, I'll tell you guys, it's not that simple for Taurus. I'll tell you what's really happening. It's, 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 it's interesting. So this is at 20 degrees. The square with Saturn is at 20 degrees. And this is because Saturn is moving higher. Anyone above 20 degrees is going to feel the Saturn square. If you are born below 11 degrees, right, below 11 degrees, you're going to feel the north node crossing your sun, and you're going to feel the opposition of the south node. So... Good luck, Taurus. Good luck, Taurus. Everyone else in in the middle, everyone else born in the middle, 
you know, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Just take it easy. But that's the drag. Tor but anyways, if you're born on the early, if you're an early Taurus, uh, you can expect to become really popular. You're going to be a bit of an egomaniac, a bit of a narcissist. Watch out because narcissism, egomania, uh, mega, you know, watch out for becoming an egomaniac. Watch out for becoming a little bit full of yourself. Any one of those things is going to derail your plan. But at the same time, a light should be shining on you. All I'm saying is it's a time for you. It is a time for you to shine. Just keep your ego in check because that's what it means astrologically. And that's the that's I wish everyone the best. So for the later Tauruses, watch out. There is a bit of a conflict happening with your identity. Maybe you're gaining weight. Maybe people are viewing you as quite pushy. Maybe Tauruses really, really want to get out there and make this uh, thing happen. But there's a process involved and it's stressing Taurus out. The obstacles or, or the pushback is stressing Tauruses out. But you should still do it. For the early Tauruses, uh, watch the, you know watch your egos uh, don't blow up in your face. And that's the deal, Taurus. I wish you absolutely the best. Money, you know, keep your eyes on your money. Uh, and soon, like starting next week, towards the weekend maybe, uh, Taurus might find themselves traveling or they might find lovers from a distance coming to visit. Wow, that was a long horoscope for Taurus. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Taurus, Queen of Swords, <laughs> unbiased judgment. There you go. Unbiased judgment, uh, making the right answers trying not to get too emotional of things. Don't be like, you know, when you get this card, Taurus, don't be like, oh, off with their heads. <laughs> you know, it's not that kind of queen of swords, although sometimes it is. So be careful. This queen here can be kind of on the little critical side, right? It's the it's between uh, Virgo and Libra, and everybody knows between Virgo and Libra can get very critical. So be careful. Unbiased judgment, independent, clear boundaries, and direct communication tours. So try not to be out, beat around the bush and whatever you do, no passive aggressive behavior this weekend, Taurus. Next, then we have the King of Pentacles. Did these come up or? I didn't guess these. Oh, I shuffled the cards. All right, well then we have the King of Pentacles. Responsibility with money, Taurus. It looks like money is actually gonna become pretty good this weekend, King of Pentacles. Hmm, that's pretty cool if you ask me. All right. King of Pentacles, money should be pretty good. Taurus, just watch out because I mean the Queen of Swords can be a little bit judgmental. Um, it's it's kind of like supposed to be good judgment, but like judgmental is judgmental. Anyways, the King of Pentacles says money is going to be pretty good, Taurus. Uh, so maybe you are going to have a breakthrough in your career. And finally, bum -a -ma, the Sun card. Wow, are these the same cards that came up for Aries? What the? <laughs> so Oh, all right. Well, okay, there you go. This, I shuffled. I cut the deck. And I, okay, here we go. The sun card. Taurus. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> things happen on this channel. We're a psychic channel. You're not going to believe it. I was. This is a psychic channel. Last night, I was thinking about there's a there's a semi popular. There's a well, I shouldn't talk like that, but there's a fairly popular. Um, astrologer uh she's popular she has a, a strong following she's been around a while and she's a gemini and her name is i don't know what name she goes by on youtube but her real name is Brittany. <laughs> and i spent last night i was like looking at Brittany thing should i should we do a thing should i contact her to do like a collab or something i know you guys would like to see her uh i know you guys not gonna like to see a lot of the people out there and you're not gonna want me arguing with people about nonsense so i don't you know so we're not bringing everybody on the channel anymore but i was looking at i was thinking of Brittany here and we're looking at this next thing you know i wake up this morning and the name Brittany is all over the place but it was Brittany griner a different one i don't see myself interviewing her because one i don't really care about basketball anymore but <laughs> that's not true just joking all right let's move on anyways i'm just saying Something's interesting with the tarot cards here. Something's going on a little bit psychic here that I should pay attention to. All right, the sun card. Being born into the light of a beautiful new day. Oh, just to let you guys know, if that's how one of the ways you train to be psychic, right? You recognize these things that are happening. We don't always recognize it at the time. 
Like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Oh, it seems like a good idea. Sure, I'll check it out. But then you find out a day or so later, oh, you've aligned yourself with the currents. So the psychic currents around you. So good job if you've done that, uh, even if you can't figure it out. Whatever. Next, <laughs> Taurus is up. Next, Gemini is up. Anyways, good luck, Taurus. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Sun card. You should be, uh, you should be born into the light of a beautiful new day. Just watch out that you're not too hard on everyone. All right, next. All right, Gemini, let's do it. I hope you're having a super amazing day. Shuffling the cards, <laughs> shuffling the cards. Got the deck in three. All right, here we go, here we go. Gemini is up. So what's your action? Hey, so Gemini, you make sure you're not fighting with too many people this week. It's, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be super argumentative per se, but like the moon is crossing through your first house. So you're going to be focused on yourself. You're going to be focused on your appearance. Um, it, it is a thing, you know, uh, Gemini risings, Gemini's Gemini risings. You're going to be focused on your appearance. So maybe you're going to change your name. You're going to play with spelling, how you spell your name. Maybe you'll change your avatar on social media. Maybe you will change your username somewhere. Or maybe you'll get new face cream. Maybe you'll dye your hair. Maybe you'll get glasses. Something about Gemini's appearance. Uh, you're going to put energy into that this weekend. Whatever it is. Maybe you're going to make the decision to go to the gym. Or maybe you're going to make the decision to gain more weight. Whatever it is, your physical appearance, that's what you're going to be focused on this weekend. Towards the second half of the weekend, or Sunday, let's say, Gem or Saturday night, Sunday, Geminis are very much going to be focused on their own money and what they're going to be able to afford. So be cool with the Gemini. So uh, watch out, you know, so watch out that you're not argumentative, watch not, you're not fighting with anybody, watch out that you're not short-tempered, watch out for pimples, facial blemishes, hitting your head, massively horrible headaches, and uh, returning to the scene of the crime, so to speak, in addition to all of that. Geminis might be argumentative, uh, and, and they might be quite pushy. On top of all of that, Venus, this is the last weekend for Venus in Sagittarius. So this is the last weekend for Geminis to really highlight this lucky and love vibe, or to really be pairing up with people. So moving forward, uh, Geminis are either taking their, so they should be taking their relationships to the next level starting next week. Uh, and that means Geminis are going to have uh, joint bank accounts next week. Uh, they're taking more investments next week. They might, starting next week, they might make some more money. Next week, Geminis are going to find people paying for them. Joint finances are going to be very good next week. Um, on the negative side, Geminis might find themselves paying for other people. And they might find that uh, they're going to get sick. In addition to that, for the next month, Geminis are going to go through a weird kind of situation where, you know, they have to watch it that their parents don't get sick. And you might be spending time in other people's houses. Like you might be, Geminis might be traveling and staying with friends or they might be staying in hotels. I know it seems weird, but that's a possibility here. There's also a possibility coming up starting next week the Geminis are going to get a break. You know, you might get off on a parking ticket or uh, the cops might pull you over and you'll get off on the ticket. Or you might inherit some money. You know, money is coming for Geminis. Just got to be careful because, you know, Pluto is here as well. And Pluto, Pluto's kind of bringing death to Geminis. So you got to watch out for that death change, um, difficulty with uh, finances. So you got to watch that in the long term, Gemini. But in the short term for the next month, Shared resources should be pretty good. People should be paying for you. Uh, you might pay for some other, you know, uh, you might, it's not, you might, you might win an award, but more than likely, it's just the credit cards getting better. You might get a new credit card. Over here, strong possibility Geminis are getting new jobs soon, and you guys are aligned. Uh, you're very well positioned to win some awards in the next little while. Actually, Geminis are the number one sign for winning awards and getting promoted at the office and, and good luck with friends and being very social. Uh, awards, dreams, recognition. The Gem Geminis are the number one sign for all of that for all of 2023. So good luck, Gemini. Just take it easy. Right now, Mars is restructuring your identity. So try not to make it hurt other people 
as you're going through this change yourself. And that's the deal, guys. Let me know if uh, any Geminis have, you know, if you guys have received, gotten any tattoos recently, or if you've like, you know, got your haircut recently, or changed your name or your identity. And that's the deal, Gemini. That's the astrology. Let's go see what the Tarot says for you. All right, Gemini, first up, King of Swords, again? <laughs> no, I keep looking at here, even though I didn't get them right. <laughs> but King of Swords, making some ideas, Gemini. You know, it's your head over your heart. You remember the Queen of Swords? Kind of like being a bit of a bitch, you know, like being kind of judgmental, the Queen of Swords. The King of Swords isn't really like that. He's kind of like that, but he sort of more takes everything in stride. Uh, this is uh, the most cerebral card in the entire deck right it's your head over your heart whereas like the queen of cups might be your heart over your head this card's discipline truthful honest mental clarity and authority so gemini keep your wits about you this weekend and look and it's this is the the cusp of taurus and gemini so there you go gemini keep your wits about you you'll have the opportunity you'll be going you're probably going to be tested this weekend and you're going to have to have your wits about you. You're going to have to make a very head decision instead of a heart. It looks like a difficult decision is coming for Tor uh, Gemini. Then we have the Nine of Wands, Gemini. Thankfully, this card is right side up. So it does indicate that, you know, there are going to be some bumps on the road. Like you're not finished. You're very close to completing an activity. Uh, you're going to have to persevere, right? There's a little bit of stress around you. Maybe people are a little bit negative. Maybe your health is a little bit off. But regardless, you're going to have to make some serious decisions. And, uh, you know, there's a bit of a bump in the road. You know, you're going to have to have courage and you're going to have to persevere, persevere. Just have faith. And then finally, the Six of Swords. This is leaving. Here, you'll see what it says. You'll see what the picture is the um no sonny what if you're standing on the other side of the river waiting for them well then you would see the faces in the card not their backs <laughs> so just letting you know and so but anyways this is the card of leaving right transition change leaving behind releasing baggage moving on this card is right side up so gemini you're in like full-on let go mode right now uh there's something you're working towards right? The nine of wands, you're working towards something. You're not quite there. There are some bumps in the road. You might not be sure how you're going to do this, but you should absolutely stick to your goals, Gemini, and keep going. Uh, on the negative side, you have some tough decisions. You're going to have to keep emotion out of it. Six of swords is don't rock the boat, but clearly, Gemini, someone is boogie time in the game, and they're ready to move. So heads up, be cool, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, Cancer, let's do it. Let's make this happen. Hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Cancer, my favorite sign of the Zodiac. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> so, whatever. All right, I could be grouchy too. Here, so Cancer, the moon is going to arc through your 12th house, which is uh, you're going to be reclusive this weekend. So the weekend is going to start off Friday night, Saturday. You're going to be reclusive. Maybe you're going to want... It's not necessarily staying at home. It's just reclusive hanging in the background. So if you go out, and there's a lot of good happening outward for Cancer. Actually, there's not really much happening down here in Cancer. This is your day-to-day -day life and maybe your job sometimes and your health and maybe your pets. Not maybe, that is what it is. And it's leaving shortly. It's arcing over into relationships and love. And when that happens, all of this internal stuff for cancer is going to be empty. So the focus for cancer after this weekend is totally out into the public world. So you're so this here, this moon in the 12th house, you could be focused on your subconscious. You're going to have to watch out for bad dreams. Mars is there. So you're going to be very aggressively clean up your environment. You might become a little bit of a social justice warrior. You might go a little bit crazy on the internet and tattle on people. Cancer, watch out for that, you know? <laughs> so cancers might tattle on people. Cancers might do things in the background. Cancers have enemies working towards them. But at the same time, cancers could be 
doing things behind other people's back as well. That's the deal. <laughs> Anyways, the moon, it's not the 12th house isn't always your sub like it's your subconscious and it's endings per, uh, to a degree. Uh, but it doesn't and it does make you reclusive, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to stay at home. If you went outside to the bar, you instead of sitting in public view or saying hello to everyone, you might be hanging back a little bit. So Taurus, that's the deal. Wherever you're going, you're going to feel a little reclusive. You're going to hang back a little. You're not going to want to be the center of attention. But at the same time, Mars is there. So whatever's going on, you're going to be very pushy towards this thing that you want to do. All right, next. Venus is cruising through back here. If you're looking for love cancer, you're going to find it at the office or you're going to find someplace you go every day. So if you go to the coffee shop every day, that's where you're going to find love. If you go to work every day, that's where you're going to find love. If you go to the gym every day, that's where you're going to find love. There's a possibility of love where you work or partnering up with someone, partnering up with someone that you really like and starting a new kind of business with it. That's what's going on. Anyways, uh, you probably had a lot of freedom during your day. Your health was probably pretty good, but all of that is moving on to your relationships next week. Next week, everyone is going to want to partner up with cancer. Everyone is going to want to be super romantic with cancer. So I wish you the best. But for right now, the highlight is focused on going back to school. There's a spotlight on traveling. So traveling, going back to school, higher learning. Starting next week, your career, or starting in about two, three weeks, your career is really going to take off cancer. And next year, you're going to be extremely high of visibility. Uh, you might get your, uh, you might, um, fall into a dream job next year. So good luck. I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be tricky. Next year is going to be a thing, right? Jupiter is going to square your sun. It's going to be tricky, but aside, it's going to blow things out of proportion. So just watch out for major drama next year. But at the same time, very public drama, but at the same time, you could be very successful as well. And that's the deal, Cancer. Shared resources are a bit of a drag. You're working hard to pay off credit cards. You know, renegotiating mortgages is a bit of a difficult thing, but cancer, that's the deal. Health and habits, moving on to relationships. And that's the action. Let's go see what your cards say. All right, cancer, first up, the three of pentacles. All right, well, here you go, cancer, three of pentacles. Well, this is the card of hard work. <laughs> so there you go. The threes are kind of getting together with other people, right? Three of cups, you're getting together with other people. Three of pentacles, you're getting together with other people to work. And so here, I'll pull it up for you and you can see what's going on. Three of pentacles, cancer. Uh, it's, you, you should be putting in a lot of hard work right now, right? Teamwork, collaboration, learning, implementation, building something. So cancer's teamwork. You're probably getting together with other people to try and make it work. Uh, if, but if I know cancer, I would just take a guess saying that uh, <laughs> you, you're probably going to try and get other people to pay for it. <laughs> what I think. All right, next. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Here we go. Hard work, productivity, running around for money. This reading looks like cancers are working their butts off. It looks like they're setting up a team and it looks like cancers are setting up a team and they're trying to get down to work. Hard work, productivity, routine, doing your thing, rushing around for money, money maybe arriving at a distance, maybe traveling for money. And da -na -na -na, finally, the king of wands. This you should have. So whatever it is, uh, cancer, you should have confidence going forward in whatever you do. The king of wands is a. Where did it go? So this is um, confidence, right? Confidence fire getting on with it. like it's just doing it it's doing it with confidence and strength right it's scorpio sagittarius right it's a combination of scorpio and sagittarius natural leader a visionary entrepreneur big picture sagittarius big picture leadership overcoming challenges mature and very career focused so cancer so this card king of wands definitely has the eye on the future so it looks to me as if this here cancer you might you might be starting a new job. Unbelievable. You might be starting a new job. Maybe if you are, um, you do something where other, like, like either you start a new job, you're going to get a lot, you should get a lot more clients. Uh, if you do client-based work, a lot more clients, 
more people should be sending you more money from a distance. Knight of Pentacles, more money from a distance, more people sending you more money. But the bottom line on this particular reading, like it does have the Three of Pentacles, and that is the card of hard work. So Cancer, if you want any of this, and I'm pretty sure you do, because Lilith, okay, anyways, if you want any of this, as far as money is concerned, Cancer, then if you put in the Three of Coins, if you put in the hard work, and you do the Knight of Pentacles a little hustle, and you're moderately responsible, like the King of Wands, Cancer, your money game is going to get pretty good. It's going to get pretty good. Astrologically, you're going to enter into a month-long cycle of relationships, and then starting in January, Cancer, January is time for a new job and shared resources. New job, someone else is going to start paying for you. New credit card, maybe you're going to get a new mortgage, a good mortgage in um, January. But before that, you got to get there. And right now, it's going to be, it's starting next week. It's going to be love time for Cancer. So Cancer, get out there, do your best, be your best, and just get out there. But Astral, uh, according to the Tarot, this says that it's a money weekend for you. So check your finances, be cool, subscribe to the channel, and I wish you the best. Next. All right, Leo, let's do it. I hope you're having an amazing day. I took a little bit of break. <laughs> took a little bit of a break shooting a video. This is going on and on today. Let's see what's going up in your chart. So check it out. So this week, whoops. So this week, it looks as if you're going to begin the weekend in a quite a social mood, Leo, with them. And actually, so hey, Leo, warning, <laughs> warning. And like the full moon was up here as well. So like, although that's a picture of a sun, the full moon, like Leo up here, this 11th house area or this 11th house distance from your sun, your area, astro area of hopes, dreams, aspirations, you know, getting out with groups of people, winning awards, standing on stage and saying, hey, what's up? Or standing with groups of people and going to look at stuff. <clears throat> it's under attack right now. This could be your social media. This could be an organization that you belong to. This could be where you work. Uh, or it could just be your gang of buddies. But somehow you're fighting with everybody. Now, there is a possibility that <clears throat> you want to move ahead. Or this group of friends that you have is changing. Or this group of friends that you have is arguing with everybody. Or that job you were going to get, you didn't get. Someone else got that job. So you have to watch out for it. Your hopes, dreams, and aspirations are a little bit under attack right now. But in addition to that, <clears throat> you are very actively revisiting old dreams, old hopes, old aspirations. Has a little cute little story here. As a hypnotherapist, for a large portion of my life, I was a hypnotherapist. And actually, my YouTube channel became popular because of some of the hypnotherapy meditations, the guided meditations that I put on the channel. And, so, and just letting you guys know. <laughs> so, but the, the, what am I saying here? As a hypnotherapist, there's a, um, uh, you know, you're dealing with group, okay, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever, forget it. I was just going to say something about the subconscious, Leo, about you're working towards things, whether you realize it or not, or as a hypnotherapist, dealing with your hopes, dreams, and aspirations. I'll tell you, <clears throat> here's what I was going to say. Sorry, I'm, I've got something in my throat. <clears throat> Excuse me. As a hypnotherapist, when I used to remove stumbling blocks, there was that was a big part of my practice was removing stumbling blocks or removing people's doubts and fears. And I found that as I removed some of these doubts and fears and apprehensions, and I kind of streamlined the subconscious and helped uh, certain people with their confidence to redo things or to let go of old wounds, let's say, there was a people returned. <laughs> so, <clears throat> not to me. They, I mean, they returned to some old dreams and old hidden dreams and hopes that they had. Stuff that I didn't even know about. And they'd come back and tell me later, hey, Sonny, you're not going to believe it. I took an acting class. I'm like, what? He's <laughs> like, yeah, I always wanted to. You gave me the confidence to do it. I'm like, what? I didn't do that. Were we talking about that? Or he's like, hey, Sonny, guess what? I, I took a stand-up comedy class. Or hey, Sonny, I went and I started that Instagram page. And that's kind of the thing that you're going through right now, Leo. There's something from the past that you wanted to do. Something maybe with social media, maybe with groups of people, maybe something very public. Um, but you want to put something forth. And 
you're revisiting this. Like there's been some kind of removal in your life. <laughs> some kind, so for Leo, some people have been removed from your life. And you have this opportunity now to go back and do that public social thing that you wanted to do. Group of people, help. Maybe you just wanted to play video games online. Or you maybe want to start a YouTube channel and just rant at people. <laughs> like, so why not? Or start, you know, you know, maybe you want to start a TikTok and jiggle your ass to everybody. Like, whatever it is you want to do. Or maybe you want to start an OnlyFans and make money from jiggling your ass to everybody. You're a Leo. You're going to be super successful at it. Anyways, that's where the action is this weekend. And it's not just the moon arcing through there. It's the moon is arcing through to bang up against Mars. So for everybody, this is going to be a little bit of public, right? Because the sun is shining that way. It's going to be a little bit of a public kind of thing <laughs> for everybody. For Leos, it could be public conflict or public confrontation. But whatever it is, it's something you are going to want to do. And you might actually instigate it, Leo. So be cool with it. So be cool with it. <laughs> so, be, and so be cool with it. That's the deal. <clears throat> that's the deal uh shortly uh you know there's a strong possibility that next year leos are going to go back to school just a heads up right joint finances the big 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 drama in joint finances is moving on right jupiter's moving on so if someone was paying for you leo or someone was helping you pay for things that's moving on after christmas is gone so you have to watch out, right? And then this is going to be filled with illusions, like Neptune. You're going to be like, oh, wow, I could do this if I could do this. Oh, yeah, I could do that. And you'll be talking shit to people. But the truth is, no, your jig is done. You know, Jupiter's gone on. No more money for you. for No more. No one's really paying your way for another 12 years. So watch out for it. In addition to that, Saturn is just about to cruise into Pisces in a couple of months. And when it does that, Whoa, your joint finances, bleh, you're going to start paying for people. Someone might steal some money from you. You are going to be resp highly responsible and it might be difficult. You know, we'll get to that. That's not happening till the spring. But in the meantime, right now, Leo, take advantage of all the financial blessings that you have. If there's any government money coming your way, any checks coming your way, anybody owes you anything, now's the time to really collect on it. Very shortly, uh, you're going to be going back to school or you're going to be traveling or you're going to be traveling or this big hopes, dreams and aspiration things that you're working on, Leo. Maybe if you keep pushing it and you're quite diligent, we'll see what the cards say or you don't give up. Then maybe in the springtime when Mars is back here and Mars finally pops into Leo, let's say around April or May, then uh, Leo, you're going to really evolve into something spectacular just have to make it there you have to make it there shining sparkling and like loud and proud <laughs> that's the deal wish you the absolute best leo hope you have a lot of fun side of everything else you are still super lucky in love all right next you're also attracting children <laughs> so, watch over getting pregnant all right according to the cards leo <clears throat> Ace of Cups reversed. You see, guys, this Ace of Cups reversed. You're like not, you're holding the cup upside down, man. <laughs> like, what are you doing? The Ace, oh, okay, like, I like I don't do that, right? Like, we all don't do it. So, look at this. Ace of Cups, ups, right side up. Good. It's it's collecting all of this uh, universally euphoria coming your way or you this universal, this divine celestial energy there, this collective consciousness is, would resonate in a quite harmonious way with you. And you're one step closer to the divine and maybe you meet somebody and maybe things are nice, but like it's reversed. So you like said no. And instead of that, you're sucking ass. <laughs> so there you go, Leo. Way to go. Yeah. And don't anybody be like in the comment section. I'm gonna be sucking ass this weekend, Sonny. No way. I was hope I was gonna ask you if he liked me. <laughs> Whatever. Is that? I was hoping to suck. <laughs> Whatever. Ace of Cups reversed. Right? It's you know, there's an emotional loss, Leo. Emotional loss. Uh, you're not in a position to receive all of this good fortune that's coming your way. So watch out. You're not 
necessarily in a good place. Uh, but love is pretty good. Romance is pretty good. I don't, see, although I was saying that stuff, watch out for arguing with the people. I don't see you as being very argumentative, really. I see Gemini as argumentative. Aries is argumentative. Sagittarius might be argumentative. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's what I see. I, I don't even see Virgo as argumentative. <laughs> I feel like a, a grouchy. I don't even see a grouchy Virgo. I just, you know, I don't see that. I just, but I do see, you know, watch out. Other people might be grouchy with you. Next, the world card reversed. So, Leo, you want to move on. The world card is the card of destiny. It's the last card in the major arcana. It's the card of kind of moving on or finally ready to move on. But look, completion, accomplishment, wholeness. Unfortunately, the card is reversed. So you're stuck. Right, it's you're 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 completely stuck. Hey, for those who are learning tarot, there's oh sorry, it's, it, this says the world, but it could be confused with the wheel, right? There's a world card and a wheel card. They can okay, whatever. Next, let's move on. Anyways, Leo, someone's not learning their lessons in spite of all of this, in spite of things that are supposed to be pretty good, in spite in spite of wanting to move on in wholeheartedly. Leo, Leo rising, I know you want to move on. I know it. I know you want the good to come your way. I know you want your karma to be clean and everything to move. I don't know that all of you want your karma to be clean. Someone might, you, some of you might want to throw some stones in that glass house on the way out. But just saying, Leo, this action, like you're ready, you're ready, but like someone's not letting you move on. The world card's reversed. You might be going back with the potential to make some of the same old mistakes but so what mercury's retrograde oh i'm pointing to where i think the chart is spatially it's like uh you're going over old stuff leo so and you're revisiting all this stuff so don't be a, don't worry about making mistakes a new energy is entering into your life uh that's it's on its way it could be an old energy returning but by March, you're going to have, or Valentine's Day, there's going to be some new energy happening in your life. So don't worry about it. And finally, the Six of Swords. So someone is boogie time. <clears throat> That's wonderful, Sunny. I was hoping to go to the disco this week. Oh my God. Did I say disco? <laughs> Did he <I> say disco? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, astrology was invented thousands and thousands of years ago. I think astrology was invented uh, before pen <laughs> pen is that a quill <laughs> whatever here we go no the real reason most people are difficult to a lot of the original astrology lessons and texts are gone was because astrology was invented before writing and before stone astrology was invented before stone so <laughs> there was no way to record it <laughs> oh my god i gave at least some of this stuff we hear all right anyways Six of Swords, check it out. Leaving, right? They're leaving and trying not to sink the boat, right? Trying not to rock the boat on the way out. Someone's leaving. Transition change, leaving behind, blah, 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 blah. There you go, Leo. Good luck. I wish you the best. It is time. Oh, well, I don't know that you, you have to make a move or anything like that. That would be my, you know, me being judgmental towards the situation. I'm not going to do it, but it says someone's leaving. Someone hasn't learned their lesson, someone's leaving, and someone is just refusing to accept the love that they have right now. So good luck, Leo. I wish you the absolute best. Uh, try not to fight with anybody. <laughs> okay, next, Virgo's up. All right, Virag, here we go. I hope you're having a super amazing day. It's great to see you guys again. All right, Virag, what is the action with you? So this... Moon, whoops, this moon game happening for Virgo. Okay, so Virgo, first, right now, the spotlight is on home. Maybe you moved recently. It doesn't really say that you're moving, actually. It says good things are happening at the house. Maybe you're getting a, a, um, a break on the rent, or maybe someone has moved in with you. You got a, you got a roommate who's going to pay half your rent, or maybe you have some checks arriving in the mail, or maybe people are visiting you at home right now. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily say, and the spotlight's at home, the spotlight's on your parents. But up here, it says 
you might be traveling or you might want to be away from home. You might want to put a lot of your energy publicly. And that's where the moon is going to be this weekend as well. And then it's going to travel over into your 11th house of hopes, dreams, and aspirations. So Virgo, you might, you might be performing on stage this weekend like seriously <laughs> like it's at the top of the chart you might be traveling you might perform on stage you might be this you are absolutely pushing to be the center of attention right now whether you want to do it or not everybody's going to be looking at you there will be some virgos who run away from home right now watch out for it there might be problems with authority figures so if you're driving don't drink and drive virgo you're probably going to get caught in a, a police check thing don't worry about it. Just be sober and you'll be fine. It does indicate Virgos are going to have problems publicly. Virgos are going to be fighting with, you know, in basketball, they're going to be fighting with the coach, football fighting with the coach, you know, fighting, you know, arguing with authority figures. Virgo, watch out for it. Um, there, there you go. Virgo, watch out for it. What else is going on with Virgo? Uh, starting next week, Virgo, you're going to be lucky in love right next week virgo's lucky in love right now they have to take care of things at home you're going to want to go out this weekend maybe you're going to want to travel towards the second half of the weekend you're going to want to spend a lot of time with your friends and family over here jupiter was hanging out in a very happy action you know in um your committed relationships that would indicate that many people want to partner up with you so just as a heads up, astrologically, this kind of thing happening here in a personal chart is going to lead to divorce. Because obviously, you, to have multiple marriages, you're going to have multiple divorces. <laughs> like, it's just saying. And so, a heads up. Well, not necessarily. I guess it depends on your culture. But in my culture, <laughs> if you get... Anyways, my whatever. Anyways, that's just a heads up. Uh, Virgo, there might be cheating in relationships going on. Last year might have been tricky uh, for commitment-wise with people. Breaking up old relationships, new relationships, back and forth, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, just trying to say that Virgo is now entering into an absolute cycle of love, romance, and attracting children. When Jupiter, and, and that's because of this stuff down here. Up here, Jupiter is about to move into your uh, astro sector of shared resources so next year is going to be a really good year for money for you and a partner um watch out that you don't get sick next year virgo obviously but you're going to see that you're going to see that mars when it's all done with this kind of action is going to arc through into cancer and this isn't really happening until february and march and so by that time jupiter is going to be way hanging out in aries there will be a problem. Mars will square Jupiter. There, You will have a problem where your friends cost you too much money in the spring or you want to hang out with certain people and it's going to be expensive. So that's obviously going to happen. But so what? That's going to pass. Um, you know, pe people are going to want you to pay for them in the spring. But for now, just get ready that if you and know that if you partner up with the right people, Virgo, next year you should make a lot of money it should be a very good year for you financially especially if you team up with other people there's a strong possibility that you're going to renegotiate a mortgage and maybe buy some property next year all right what about the weekend oh you're going to get out be high visibility probably argue with people it's probably going to go out uh virgos don't usually get drunk and disorderly but they do usually drink up a storm and uh i bet i have a feeling if you don't get in a fight with the bouncer virgo you might vomit on somebody very publicly this weekend so be very careful be very cool and i wish you the best i would never vomit on somebody publicly sunny i'm a virgo okay next <laughs> actually virgos don't usually the virgos don't usually get uh disorderly like they, they don't usually go crazy like that virgos libras you don't usually see them uh faced on the side of the road scorpio all the time <laughs> like the, pisces all the time they're about as blurry and drunk as you can get scorpios pisces they're very blurry but like virgo libra their game's pretty tight next i'm giving away virgo drinking secrets at christmas <laughs> virgo shazam hey virgo look at this the sun card oh wow that's great hey that's wonderful news virgo 
So this means you are entering into this. You are going through a change. Oh, wow. Congratulations. So Virgo, you've gone through, you have been going through a transition. I know, you know, whatever. Anyways, the sun card is being reborn. It is the card of confidence. It's the card of success. It's the card of winning. Virgo, you should have a lot of confidence this week. And whatever is going on, Virgo, you should just go do it. Give it the old college try. And uh, I think you're going to be very successful this week. I think this is going to be a good weekend for Virgo. Hey, Virgo, watch out. You also have a, a hater at the office, right? So you're kind of in this really kind of aggressive, argumentative, almost pseudo-violent cocoon, um, especially publicly. But soon that's going to uh, lighten up. It's going to resolve itself. And soon uh, you will have your dream job, your dream career, your dream publicity. Just it's going through a bit of a, you know, scratchy period. So just be cool. Next, the five of pentacles, reversed no less. Wow, Virgo. So according to this card, you know, this is the card of kind of being a little bit on the broke ass side of things. So Virag, watch your money. Now, honestly, I don't know Vir any, I don't really know, I don't consider Virgo an irresponsible sign. Just like I don't consider, so I don't. Uh, although they'll watch you be irresponsible. <laughs> so, but I don't consider them irresponsible. But according to this, Virgo, there is some kind of financial loss coming your way. And it's reversed. So uh, there's a possibility that you didn't see something or something is a little bit more than you expected. So just be cool with it. You know, Virgo, take your time. Double check all the finances. You are being born into this new game, right? This new light with the sun card. But this new beginning is expensive, so be cool. And then we have the three of coins, the card of hard work. So Virgo, get together with whoever you have to get together with and just get it done. King, three of coins. You like Virgo can do the three of coins. Like, no, this is Capricorn energy. Look at this. Getting together with people to work. Three of cups, getting together with people to party. Three of coins, getting together with people to uh, for hard work, you know, to to get it done. What's the card of getting together with people to rob others, Sonny? That's the Eight of Wands reversed. <laughs> it's eight of Wands reversed. All right, here we go. Or it's the Five of Coins. Um, it's a uh, anyways, whatever. <laughs> it's uh, the Five of Wands reversed. All right, here we go, guys. So that's the deal, Virgo. Get out, have some fun. There is a new beginning for you. It's just money's a little tight. Get the team up, team up, Virgo. This is a good time to team up. His money's tight. Just be careful. Don't spend money you don't have. Uh, but soon your credit is going to be amazing. Just work hard, Virgo. You have some good news coming to you. It's got to get that Mars straightened out at the top of the chart. All right, and that's the action. I wish you the best, Virgo, and I'll see you soon. Share the videos, and I'll see you soon. All right, let's get down to it. Hey, Libra, what's up? Just going to shuffle the cards a little bit. I know I'm right in front of the microphone shuffling cards. I get it. I get it. Oh, man. I wonder if Sonny's going to say Libra's our most beautiful sign again. Hey, Sonny. Hey, Sonny. Can you compliment us without saying Libra's our most beautiful sign? Sure, why not? Libra, you have a really nice personality. Is that a compliment? You guys like that? What do you like best about that? I like their person. <laughs> All right. Miss Congeniality it is. Hey, it's a trophy. At least you get a Oh, great. I'm still a trophy. Well, that conversation didn't work out well. Maybe I'll edit that from the video. <laughs> Libra, whatever. What's wrong with being beautiful? All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. For, so what's the deal with Libra? So, you know, Mars is doing its... Oops, Mars is still doing its thing at the top of the chart. You know, you're not damned if you do, damned if you don't. But the energy is going to pump through there. That's kind of... Hey, Libra, what did you do on your holiday kind of vibe? Because it's a full moon. Okay, so we're sort of in the horoscopes wandering away from the full moon game going on here. But we still have some full moon action happening with Libra. And this full moon, is it's going to highlight things at a distance. So maybe you traveled recently and you're going to, believe it or not, here we go. The stuff that everybody knows about is kind of public already. Uh, but so there's a full moon thing happening. So maybe, so on one hand, 
maybe people don't know about your vacation. Maybe they don't know you're going to take a vacation. Maybe they don't know you've gone back to school or you're going back to school. Maybe they don't know some of your philosophies. Maybe they don't know something about your dad. Okay, all of that's in play here. But but <laughs> that's where you've been putting all of this energy. Libras might be retraining right now. Libras might be traveling right now. Libras might be arguing with people at a distance right now. Anyways, all of that is going to come to light on the full moon. Uh, so, so all of that. So if you're going back to school, people are going to find out. But it's not just that it's, uh, which is going to be on display for everyone to see. It's going to be seen in that part of your life. So if you're a Libra, watch out for secrets being exposed at school. Watch out for secrets being exposed at a distance. Watch out for uh, things you've been working on behind the scenes to suddenly come to the light for everybody to see. And this is not so weird. I, we started off with uh, Brittany Griner today, and I turned the news on, and I saw Kamala Harris. She's a Libra. It's the first time I've seen her in uh, forever. Libra. I, and she's... She tell, you know, I didn't hear her speak or anything, but I saw her and, you know, for whatever she was doing behind the scenes, pop up at the full moon. It's not so weird. I, I showed you guys earlier how I found uh, the sunny side zombie. Robbie popped up, <laughs> just popped up under the full moon. Kamala, the Libra, just popped up <laughs> under the full moon. All right, whatever. So that's the deal, Libra. Things at a distance, higher learning philosophy. So that's what you're going to want to be doing anyways. Now. So on one hand, we're all going to find out about it or something is going to be found out over there. But on the other hand, there's a disruptive kind of energy happening there. So you might have been fighting with people overseas or, you know, again, going backwards to move forward. Uh, but you might find that now you have to pay for everything. Uh, so you might find unexpected expenses. It's very good. Like Libra, check the bill, okay? Double check the bill. You're probably in a situation where if you're not traveling, you're probably, you know, think, you know, like you got the bill, <laughs> like the full moon, right? The full moon on the trip, right? The, the full moon is highlighting what happened on your trip. I would, anyways, that's the deal. You guys get it. I'm not explaining it very well, but I think it's, you guys, I think Libras get it. Hey, Libra. Okay. Next. Your day to day life is okay. Romance sucks the, you know, the whatever, but watch this shortly. You know, the countdown should be on. Saturn retrograde stuff is done for the next little while, and Saturn should be plowing forward. And when Saturn leaves Aquarius, whoa, like, you know, like you're a Libra, you would think Saturn in Aquarius, anything in Aquarius is okay for Libra. And actually, Saturn likes Libra. <laughs> so, like, like, Libra likes to bond. Saturn likes to bond. Libra's a little bit lazy, <laughs> you know, but like, whatever. Um, but, you know, Sat Libra doesn't necessarily want old man Saturn, right? Like Saturn rules Capricorn and Libra doesn't really jive with the Capricorn old mind, old man grouchy vibe. Libra is like easy breezy springtime, you know, <laughs> Taurus, you know, Taurus, Libra. Okay, whatever. So there we go. So that's the deal, Libra soon not yet but the countdown is on that love and very play playful love is going to return and you are going to get a nice solid year of fun uninterrupted love before pluto comes in and really causes problem when pluto gets into there into aquarius oh man libra public drunkenness really bad problems with the kids like death um change major abortion like you know you can wait until you get there libra but for now saturn's gonna clear out and you're gonna eventually like in a couple of months then everything you're gonna have a lot of fun having said that i'm just telling you all of that because i look in one point and then i see supporting things whatever jupiter is slowly creeping into aries and libra you know when jupiter enter into aries it's time to be beautiful because Jupiter in, Jupiter in Aries means everybody wants to partner up and date Libra. And when I say date, I mean date. <laughs> so there we go. I don't mean fig. I mean date. <laughs>
<laughs> Everybody's gonna want a chocolate sauce Libra. Oh, okay, whatever. That sounded a little weird. <laughs> so there we go. Thanks, Sonny. Like I didn't know that happened. Oh, what? 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 Are you sure? Oh, right. These are the weekend horoscopes. Oh, you're okay. Whatever, <laughs> Libra. Good luck. I wish you the best. Oh God, Libra. Get out there and have some fun. Take care of your business, Libra. Like Virgo. Next year, you're gonna put a lot in the springtime. You're gonna put a lot of energy into getting a new job and a lot of energy into your public image. Now's the time to study and sort your game. And shortly, new job, uh, ease of restrictions in your love life. The children are going to get a lot better. Everything's going to be a lot better. Uh, right now, you might get a, a new cell phone or something right now, just to like letting you know what else is going on. If you're shopping, you're probably shopping for cell phones and computers. All right, let's go check your cards out. Wow, these horoscopes are going on for a long time today, but like I'm having fun. <laughs> so here we go. Libra, cut the deck in three, Sunny, and then let's do it. The problem is I'm using different software and I'm recording on the PC. And this, um, it takes a long time to upload the videos. That's why I'm doing it in video format instead of live where I have to download and really take a lot of time to do it. That's why I'm recording like this. The software I'm using. Uh, it's, it takes a long time. I'm not uh, I used I used to make videos on the Mac, but uh, I'm not doing it right now. So um, videos are here. And so, uh, all right, Libra. Next, the Moon card reversed. This is a dark time. Not like dark like ah! It's dark like it's not dark like Hey man, I can't see. It's it's kind of dark like Hey man, I can't see. But the Moon card reversed. Libra indicates you have some personal demons that you are having difficulty coming to grips with. There's the definite, like Libra's an indecisive sign to start with. I get it. You're evaluating all of, you're evaluating everything. All You're constantly evaluating everything. I get it. Is it good enough? Is it good enough? Is it good enough? I thought this was really good and it turned out to be a bad experience or I thought this was going to be better than this and it turned out to be blah. Guys, everybody's human. Everybody screws up, whatever. You know, everybody deserves a second chance, I guess. I'm a Scorpio saying that. I don't really believe that. But I think Libras do. <laughs> so good luck, Libra. All right. So this card is, you know, illusion, mystery. It's your subconscious, Libra. It's everything that's hidden. You see, the, it's everything that's hidden. But it's reversed. So you're not... I know these cards as release of fear, you know, and that kind of stuff. But it's it's not really what's happening. It's you're succumbing to internal pressure is what's happening. Libra's subconscious, something is going on where there's a fear or there's a pain or there's an idea uh, and or there's a fear, like you're not going to be well received or something happened and it's not going to work out again or you weren't so sure about it in the beginning or you took a chance and things worked out and you were like, whoa, or you took a chance and things didn't work out or whatever happened, you're stuck behind your own fear and uncertainty, Libra, which is kind of sucky bananas. Then we have the Queen of Cups. There you go. You're going to have to be nurturing. You're going to have to be compassionate. You're going to have to take care of business. You're going to have to trust your intuition. And that's the deal. The card is right side up. Think of it as the most nurturing of nurturing cards. Uh, it's not super easy breezy. It's extremely compassionate, very emotional stability. Libra, you're going to have to be the adult in the room. So maybe the moon card, it's maybe it's not your fears. Maybe you're dealing with someone else and their fears because the Queen of Cups indicates emotional stability, whereas the moon card indicates there's a fear of over, you know, there's a fear to proceed. And finally, the devil card reversed. That could lead to some interesting pictures for your social media, Libra. <laughs> uh, hey, watch out. Uh, the truth is, forget about all of that silliness, right? Shadow self, attachment, addictions, restrictions, blah, blah, blah. This card is reversed. This card's blaming other people. So, Libra, there's going to be a, a situation happening where someone is going to blame you or you're going to blame someone else. And although that's like a thing, it doesn't, you know, the thing is going to be like a thing, you know, Libra. So you're going to have to watch out a little bit because, you know, this devil might not be true, right? This is blame where, you know, it's almost like false blame. It's kind of like false blame, blaming things, other people for your own fault. 
But I'm not saying it's your fault because it's reversed. You might be blamed. But here, so, here's the problem. The moon is reversed. Blame is being passed around when the truth in this reading is someone is lacking confidence to do the thing. And, but that's not what's happening. Blame, you're placing blame instead of overcoming a personal demon. And that's the deal, Libra, whether you're the one going through it or someone you're dealing with is going through it, that's what they're going through. I wish you the absolute best. Queen of Cups says you're going to have to be compassionate with this person's delay. And that's the action. Wishing you the best, Libra, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, Scorpio, let's get to it. I hope you are having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side. I'm a double Scorpio. I sting from both ends. <laughs> <laughs> okay whatever guys here we go scorpio so what's your action so here's the so here's the deal for everybody this this week the moon is gonna harmonize <laughs> whatever scorpio joint finances super highlighted this weekend the full moon is there you know the moon is going to be conjunct mars there's a lot of energy going into shared resources you probably are going to find yourself paying a big wad chunk of money for someone else there is a excuse me scorpio there is a major drain in your chart right now a financial drain and that's you're paying for someone else and it's stressing you out in addition to that you might you might not be paying right anyways but watch your credit card scorpio watch your credit card watch your joint finances the money that was supposed to come your way is not coming your way and so that's the deal so you're probably you could be waiting for a financial settlement uh if you're waiting for that financial settlement scorpio you're not going to get it until march and i'm not joking so scorpio you're going to have to tough it out there's no money coming your like the money there's a fight like if you expect any money to come your way you're going to have to fight for it in addition to that you you like you might as well spend this time cleaning up your paperwork scorpio like just clean it all up streamline everything get your bank accounts in order get ready to do your tax like this like get ready to do your taxes early this year uh because you someone is going to hit you with some surprises but and so that's the deal and with this mars retrograde they're coming after you anyways scorpios might be audited right now they might get some checks uh not checks some bills in the mail they didn't expect they might find out some people that they thought were friends are absolutely trying to stab you right in the chest <laughs> you know they're like whatever and so watch out for it scorpio unexpected you're gonna find unexpected legal battles will return from the past which is mental <laughs> and so like it's gonna be like Ooh, i thought i got rid of it but it's gonna surprise you it's gonna be unexpected and you're gonna be like eh? Just watch out for it, Scorpio. It could be something as simple as a parking ticket, a wayward parking ticket. Can you have a wayward parking ticket? It could be something as simple as that. Maybe someone is against you. Maybe someone is going to give you a thumbs down on your YouTube video. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> I couldn't believe you even clicked on the, I can't believe you clicked on the thumbnail, let alone made it to Scorpio to give you a thumbs down. <laughs> so I'm kind of... At least they're watching. Okay, whatever. <laughs> like, anyway, Scorpio, that's the kind of thing that's going to happen. So watch out for all of it. Uh, also, absolutely watch your health. Now, I don't quite think your health is in problem is is in tr trouble or jeopardy until next week, let's say. And starting next week, Scorpio's really going to have to watch their health. Okay, that's going to put uh, an interesting tension in health happening in your chart. There's so. Just whatever, just take it easy, take care of your health, and that's the deal. You actually might find yourself gaining a lot of weight next year, Scorpio. Next year, you might gain a lot. Starting in January, Scorpio, you might gain a lot of weight. Uh, you might be very busy during the day. You might get a pet, right? Seriously, you might get a pet. You might find yourself spending a lot of time taking care of other people. Like you're going to get very busy again uh daily uh starting in january so take advantage of it while you can right now is a super romantic time for scorpio it's also a time for gambling and taking chances it's also a time for scorpios to get pregnant if you want any of that 
then you should go and take a chance. Scorpio, take your chances. Way over here, and it's not always just about money. This is also your sex life as well, but you know, I've already I'm talking some of the signs going on and on with some of the signs. Anyways, the moon is gonna make you uh look into your joint finances. This is kind of a like a sexy fun weekend for Scorpio, just to let you know. It should be sexy fun time. And then towards the end of the weekend, Scorpio, you might actually find yourself traveling this weekend unexpectedly or expectedly, or towards the end of the weekend, you know, you might take a class or a workshop. This is a good weekend for Scorpios to take a class or a workshop. And that's the deal. Watch your joint finances. Your personal finances are actually pretty good right now. And, you know, but starting next week, look at this. Starting next week, Venus is moving into Capricorn. and you know, good things in communication, good things with your brothers and sisters, good things with your words, and definitely good things on social media. Maybe you guys will watch the video after all. Hey, hey Scorpio, if any Scorpios watch this video, just leave a comment. Say, watched. <laughs> all right, next. Scorpio, let's check your cards out. Okay, so rundown. Scorpio, watch your health. All right, from now until the end of 2024. Sorry. From now until the end of 2023, watch your health. Uh, you'll find watch the health of those around you. Uh, watch for problems in fire and problems in breathing, Scorpio. Starting money is still okay right now. Still a little problem at, at home, right? Ho your movement is restricted a little bit. You know, problems at home a little bit. Hard work, whatever. Uh, soon, good things are going to happen in communication. If you're looking for love, you might meet someone. Uh, introduced through one of your brothers and sisters or close friends. You'll meet someone if you're set up. All right, Scorpio. Next, two of wands, swords reversed. Two of swords reversed. <sighs> two of swords reversed, uh, Scorpio. So you have some decisions you're having difficulty making. Something is obviously stressing you out in the background. Um, and you're not sure which way to go. It's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Uh, you absolutely have some difficult decisions coming your way. Maybe you have to decide between the lesser of two evils. Maybe you feel as if you don't have a choice at all, Scorpio. Maybe you feel as if all of the answers are being removed from you. Or, you know, you're, you you might feel as if your hand is uh, is being pressed a little, Scorpio. So watch out. So watch out. Regardless, you have to make some decisions and you're going to have difficulty making it. And then we have the Queen of Cups reversed. So wow, Scorpio, someone is probably going to be a bit of a um, a nasty banana to you. So be cool, you know. Uh, you ha and you're going to have to figure out Two of Swords, right? Figure out what you want to do about it. Queen of Cups is reversed. So this is self-love, right? When it's like right side up, you're like, you know, compassionate with other people. But when this card is reversed, you have to be compassionate with yourself, Scorpio. So be careful. Maybe someone is gaslighting you. Maybe someone is being uh, intolerable in some way. Or just watch out. Queen of Cups reversed. Scorpio, it's time for self-love. Take care of yourself. If no one's taking care of you, you got to take care of you. I think, you know, insert um, feel-good metaphor. And finally, Four of Cups. This should be a bit uh, of uh, concern. The Four of Cups indicates that things are actually pretty good, Scorpio. and uh, you kind of someone is just turning their back on things that are good. It might be confusing. You'd be like, hey, man, things are pretty good. Why is this person being so mental? But that's what's going on. Things are here. There you go. You have the three of cups. You're being presented a fourth cup and you're rejecting it, Scorpio. So be careful, Scorpio, for rejecting things out of pride or rejecting things because they don't they're not deep enough for you or rejecting things just because you want to be grouchy or rejecting things because you're not ready. Just watch out for not recognizing a good thing while you have it. You will absolutely regret the Four of Cups if you turn your back on something that absolutely is trying to help you. So be careful, Scorpio. That's a lesson for everybody. If you don't know that, you will absolutely regret turning your back on hands that are there to help you. Even if they're useless and end up messing you up, you'll regret turning your back on helping hands. And that's the deal, guys. I'm wishing everyone the best. And Sagittarius is up next. All right, Sagittarius, let's do it. 
I hope you're having a super amazing day. Saji, what am I going to say? You know, the moon is right here. The moon is going to be arcing through Mars. I mean, arcing through Gemini for most of the weekend. That is the full moon. You know, I just changed the date here as we're moving forward. You guys know how I set the charts up or how I do the horoscopes and I progress it. But the moon is going to be here, Sag. It's going to Mars in your relationship sector, full moon. What the frig, Sag? Like, everybody's going to find out about a breakup. <laughs> everybody's going to find out your partner has been cheating on you. Everybody's going to find out that there was a fight in your, your love game. Everyone's going to find out you're getting divorced. What the hell, Sagittarius? Everybody's going to find out all this. And, you know, they're going to find out lovers from the past have returned. Whoa! They're going to find out about all this energy you're putting into relationship or taking care of someone. There are different ways to take care of people, guys. Like, there's, like, day-to-day -day stuff. There's taking care of your partner, taking care of your partner's money and your partner's your stuff together. A lot of different ways you're going to be taking care of people. And Sagittarius, a lot of energy is going into your partner right now. Maybe your partner needs extra support, right? Maybe, so Mars, right? There's a lot of heat going on over there. So maybe uh, your partner needs extra support right now. So you have to get your game together to really help them out. You know, like that's the deal. And it's been going on for a while. Maybe lovers from the past are going to return, blah, 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 blah. That's where the full moon is. That's what someone's going to find out. That's where all the information, the action is. It's a little spooky. Watch out for all of it. Second half of the weekend, you're going to be watching your money. Now, here's the neat thing about all of this. Well, forget about all of that, okay? That's the thing. You've been going through it for a while, but this is the full moon you've been waiting for. <laughs> so here you go. So last month, the full moon was in your... Uh, it was in Taurus, right? Last month, the full moon hot was highlighting your health and your habits and your job. Maybe you found out something at work, like you're going to get promoted or uh, get less hours or not a bonus, or you're going to get a bonus or something. But right now, the full moon is in your relationship sector, so you're gonna, everybody's going to find out about that. All right, next. There is good news. Venus is moving into your astro sector by the end of the weekend towards next week. You're going to find out that money gets a lot better for Sagittarius. Money's going to get a lot better. And although I sent all that blah, blah, blah about relationships, Jupiter is, is going to enter into your fifth house soon, Sagittarius. So next year, very lucky gambling. Next year, very, very, very lucky gambling, uh, Sagittarius. And very lucky in romance next year. Maybe you're going to become pregnant next year as well with a but. Next year, for everybody, Jupiter is going to cross. Jupiter should cross this Chiron. And when that happens, that's going to cause a major, major wound in this part of the chart. And this part of the chart, so Aries might get major attack next year. Like, like something big is going to damage Aries uh name and reputation next year and something big is going to damage pisces money next year and something or there's going to be a big wound there and for sagis there's going to be a problem with the kids next year kids and your love life so be careful heads up let's hope that you know let's let's catch uh people when they fall and let's help them get up so that they're not down too long just a heads up on that sag but having said all of that until that happens until that happens, uh, that wound is exposed. What's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of fun and romance and gambling. Get out there and have a good time. So, Saj, except for that, like, and I'm just telling you, everybody's going through it. These times that we're going through right now that we're living through are not very clean. They're not clean. They're not streamlined. They're not precise. They're very yes, but, you know, and for Saj, you know, like for Saj, like, when Jupiter enters, yeah, super romantic, but arguing in relationships, right? Or maybe cheating in relationships. Maybe Sagis are getting divorced. So, you know, yeah, it's good with the kids. You might become pregnant, but yeah, it's going to hit Chiron. You might have a problem with the pregnancy. So watch out for all of that stuff moving forward. On the plus side, money's going to be very good starting next week. Uh, Sagittarius, expect the Christmas bonus to come expect a christmas bonus if i was sage i would expect a christmas bonus yeah i think you're gonna 
Pluto is here, so you might not have received a Christmas bonus in a while, but this year you should receive a Christmas bonus. All right, next. So anything good? Yeah, money is pretty good. Sagittarius is looking good. You are the center of attention. People are looking at you. There's still good stuff happening at home. Watch your driving. Sagis are still going to jail. Watch out for that. There's arguing with groups of people. Sagis are going through legal situations. Watch out for all of that. Shortly, romance and children are going to be very good. Next. All right, Sag. Here we go. The magician reversed. Well, you know, guys, when I see this card reversed, I usually say someone is going to BS you. That's just the way I look at it. The magician means someone is going to come along and shine a light back on you. On you. It's going to reflect all of the good and reflect all of your potential. It's going to show you all that you are capable of manifesting. So this card's often the card of manifesting. Uh, but at the same time, it's reversed. So maybe someone is going to BS you a little. Maybe someone is going to throw, instead of shine, helping you shine your light, they're going to throw smoke on you. They're going to say things like, oh yeah, I'm an astronaut. You're going to love it. You should go to astronaut school as well. And then you find out this guy is like nothing. <laughs> and so watch out for it, Sagittarius. You're going to be filled with some weird, some possibly untenable impulses. So just be careful with that kind of thing. Also, you're going to attract the, uh, uh, someone full of BS. So watch out for it. Then we have the King of Swords reversed. Whoops. So you're, so, you know, maybe, so you, so, uh, the truth is going to be pretty loose here, Sagittarius, right? The Magician is reversed and the King of Swords is reversed. These are guys who are like the king of swords is an extremely cerebral person this is the most intellectual of the intellectual cards right head over heart discipline blah 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 authority getting it right but this card is reversed so you're gonna have to turn the thing inside in like inwards like you're gonna have to figure out you know maybe you're not maybe when you see the magician and the magician comes and fills you with nonsense you're gonna have to be a king of swords instead of like Yay, rah, 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 rah. Yeah, like I got that. That's a good idea. Maybe you're going to have to take everything with a grain of salt, Sagittarius, and definitely think things through. Okay, so Sagittarius is a not necessarily an impulsive sign. They're definitely a fast sign. So Sagittarius, just think things through. And finally, the Knight of Wands. So, no. I don't think you're going to think things through. <laughs> I said think things through. You are not thinking things through. You're going to knight of wands. You're going to rush into action. <laughs> like you're not even going to flinch. <laughs> well, that is, this is funny. So, oh my goodness. So Sagittarius, here you go. Knight of wands, energy, passion, inspired action, confidence, adventure, impulsiveness. Sag, this is like, oh wow. Playful, romantic playful, romantic. Uh, so Sagittarius, get out there and have some fun. What are you going to do? Get out there, have some fun. Watch your words. Don't say anything. Honestly, looking at this reading, this to me looks like something a Sagittarius would do. Sagittarius is a straight shooting sign and they'll F you up when they get the chance, but they're not going to F you up if they don't have to F you up, right? And Sagi doesn't get bored. They're not like Scorpio gets bored and causes problems or they're not social justice warriors like say Pisces is like oh, or like you know Libra wants to cause problems this is like Sagi's this is cool man Sagi just so king of swords reverse you're gonna bite your tongue the magician someone's gonna talk stupid you're gonna bite your tongue but the knight of wands says you're gonna get out and have some fun so Sagi get out this weekend have some fun and when you're ready for personal reading hit the PayPal link in the description box below or email me for one of the the specials that are on right now and I wish you the best and I'll see you soon good luck Sag I wish you the absolute best, and I'll see you soon. All right, Capricorn, let's get down to it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what's the action, Capricorn? <laughs> so, like, seriously, there's going to be some good news happening very soon. But before we get to the good news, we have to get to the weekend. And the weekend has some kind of full moon happening down here in your astral sixth house. Your astro house of um, health, pets, <clears throat> taking care of other people, and your day-to-day -day life. So, like, Mars is already retrograde in that part of your chart, Capricorn. So, you're already 
going through some kind of physical thing that you've always wanted to do. Remember, Mars is retrograde. So you're moving forward by moving backwards. And so there's something you've always wanted to do with regards to either your health or maybe some like some kind of surgery you always wanted. <laughs> so there's also a possibility you're going to get very sick, you know, Capricorn. So be careful for it. Uh, you know, Mars is very much going to heat up your sixth house, and that could cause a problem with some enemies, okay? Just saying watch out for enemies or watch out for your partner having some enemies or problems. Uh, maybe the people that you hang out with and care about, they might be going through some problems right now. But like aside of that, let's get back to figure it out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Capricorn, watch out for problems with your health. Uh, maybe one of your a pet is sick. Uh, you might be very, very, very busy taking care of other people right now. And that's the deal. But anyways, that's what's highlighted. In addition to that being highlighted, because it's the full moon, everybody's going to find out about it. Uh, and because it's like the moon, <laughs> like you're going to want to do it. So there's something about this. Maybe there's some kind of elective surgery that you want, Capricorn. Except for plastic surgery, it's like, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, well, Capricorn, maybe there is some plastic surgery that you were hoping to accomplish right now. And, well, that's an interesting phrase. Hey, Sonny, you know what? I was hoping to accomplish some plastic surgery. Thanks, man. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, my goodness. Well, this these horoscopes aren't shot live, so I'm going to have to amuse myself. <laughs> so, like, all right, whatever, Capricorn. So, there we go. Anyways, that's where the action is. That's where the energy is. That's where the full moon is. So, be careful with all of that. Watch out for health problems. The full moon might shine a light on a health problem that you didn't realize you have. So be careful with that. Just be careful. <clears throat> All right, enough of that full moon stuff. On the plus side, Venus is entering into Capricorn very shortly. And for Capricorns, that's going to make you look really good. So you, sh So everything gets better when Venus approaches your sign. It means love and money and happiness. I don't have a symbol for happiness, <laughs> but like these guys are all coming your way. Uh, and that's the deal. It was behind the scenes, meaning you might have been in a secret relationship or someone might have had a secret crush on you. But moving forward, it's not a secret anymore. And someone's intention, uh, they're going to make their intentions known, which is whatever. <laughs> like they're going to love and money are coming your way. So this kind of starts on. Uh, Monday. So it's not exactly the horoscope for the weekend, but like uh, it's something to be on, you know, keep your eyes open for. It is a nice little cycle that's happening that is on the way. Oh, sorry, I'm tapping away into the mic, right? Okay. So that's the deal, Capricorn. So on the first, so on one side, you know, you can deal with your health and your day to day life. You might uh, have a problem at the office this weekend. It might cause problems there. Um, but it's your health, it's your day-to-day -day life, it's your habits. The spotlight is going to be on bad habits. Capricorn, watch out for it. The moon is then going to be in Cancer. And we all know that for Capricorn, when the moon is in Cancer, that puts Capricorn in an extra loving, uh, romantic mood and wants to do things for other people. You're going to want to do things for your partner, or you're just generally going to want to help out this weekend, Capricorn. So here you go. Be a good teammate this weekend and get it done. Right now, Saturn's still cruising through your second house, so money is a little difficult. You have to work hard to make it. Uh, it's going to be a big relief next year when Saturn moves on. Although when Saturn moves on next year, Cap Capricorns doing illegal stuff are going to have to watch out for going to you know, going to jail next year. <laughs> like Capricorns probably go to jail next year. But next year, Capricorns are going to have their movement restricted, so watch out for that. Or next year, Capricorns are going to put a lot of energy into social media or into uh, media pro uh, projects in general. So that's the deal, Capricorn. Like if you are looking to launch a social media website or if you're looking for something like that, I'm not saying that to wait until Saturn is in the third house. I would think that's a bad idea, actually. But that's just gonna, that's just gonna, next year, it's uh, going to take up a lot of your energy. <laughs> Excuse me. Actually, honestly, Capricorn, last year, 2022, 2021 and 2022, I know it's almost over, but 20 that was the time to launch social media stuff and web stuff and communication stuff and to buy a car or a computer that 
like that was the time to really work it i know money was a little bit in the pooper for the year but like so what <laughs> that like that's the word you know that's just the way life is sometimes uh like that's just the way it is sometimes and so but that's what was going on you know so but what can you do next year is the time uh, because your movement your movement is going to be restricted next year the emphasis is going to be on home so uh your home should be expanding next year so maybe capricorn you're going to buy some new real estate soon maybe when saturn moves on and money frees up capricorn you're going to buy some new real estate soon or more people will be coming over to the house or the going to be more emphasis on the house you're going to be lucky from the house all right enough whatever nobody cares nobody cares. unless you're a capricorn that wants to buy a house nobody cares study okay whatever capricorn wants your health love is still behind the scenes capricorns are still a little bit reclusive this weekend they're going to want to do things for other people and there are still unexpected problems with the kids next i don't know what happened but these horoscopes are taking forever today and I am chopping them up into little things so it'll speed up the processing, hopefully, or it'll speed up the editing process. <sighs> Here we go, Capricorn. Boom, justice. Well, there you go. There you go. What goes down, what goes up comes down. What goes down, the wheel is what goes down comes up. You get lucky. Justice is what goes up comes down. There's a bit of a reckoning in the justice card it's libra it's things balancing out but when things balance out upwards we usually say hey good things are happening so that's the deal but here i'll, I'll pull the card up and i'll show you what it says okay oh wow everything is slowing down make sure you subscribe to the channel capricorn okay justice oh look justice means justice well done guys <laughs> justice fairness truth clarity equality balance cause and effect and the law well like libra rules the law right libra is the is a fair sign if you um anyways whatever capricorn capricorn is not a fair sign <laughs> capricorn is definitely not a fair sign capricorn fights dirty and they play for keeps so whatever this justice thing capricorn justice is coming your way <laughs> capricorn is too funny i was sitting here getting, too busy, getting tired now right this is i've been to see the Shooting these horoscopes are a lot longer than the video because I'm editing out a bunch of stuff. And this cap anyways, Capricorn Justice, that's too funny. <laughs> it's good. Next, next, the seven of, oh, wow, seven of wands. Okay, this is more of a Capricorn thing. Seven of wands, Capricorn. The, peep, the peeps are going to second guess you. They're going to fight back. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Capricorn, uh, six of wands is victory. And then the seven wands, everyone is kind of second guessing you. Uh, and I know you don't really like that, but maybe when just, I don't know what to say. Like here, uh, uh, <laughs> just having fun today. Usually uh, we've been taking the horoscopes pretty seriously lately, actually. Today I'm seeming to be having fun with this video. So anyways, justice, there's justice, there's balance coming, but be careful because this card means the peeps are going to rise up. So if you're a Capricorn who has a business, you can expect your employees to get a little testy. Uh, maybe like just saying this time of year, maybe they want more money. Maybe they want more hours. Maybe they want more whatever, but they're not, you know, they're going to rise up. Be careful. Maybe if you're leading a, a troop of like, I don't know, like a sports team or something and you're the captain running it, just watch out guys. People are going to second guess uh, your decisions and you're absolutely trying your best to be fair. So uh, you're going to be in a Capricorn. You're going to be in a difficult situation. Okay, next. <laughs> it's Capricorn. <laughs> they can do it. They're going to like, <laughs> thanks, buddy. I will get my extra whippy whip. <laughs> <laughs> I will get my cat of ten tails. Next. Boom. Capricorn. Ace of swords. Well, here you go. In spite of everything, you know what, Capricorn? You're going to. You're going to navigate this quite well i you know in spite of everything i think i think you're going to come out of this on top uh you're going to come out on top this is creativity uh there is success in this card you're going to think it through so you, like capricorn is as much as i'm making fun of capricorn they're not uh they're not an impulsive sign they just they don't just jump into things and mess things up this is mental clarity this is uh creativity 
It's the possibility for a new beginning, Capricorn. So, and it's a possibility for a really positive outcome and a very new beginning. Like, this is a beautiful reading. So, you're going to find out something. So, a balance is coming. So, Capricorn, balance, it's coming. Or the, you know, times were too good or the times were too sucky, a balance is coming. Uh, not everybody's going to be happy with balance, blah, blah, blah. And out of everything, you know, if you're cool with everything, we're going to have the Ace of Swords at the end. And you're going to be a very creative new beginning. Oh, well, there you go. There's a beautiful story. Next, <laughs> Capricorn, I wish you the best. All right, have a wonderful weekend, Capricorn. Next. Hey, Aqua, let's do it. Welcome back to the sunny side. I hope you are having a super amazing day. Hey, what do you guys think of the mic quality? I've been adjusting the settings on the mic. And actually, you know, instead of, I have a bunch of astrology stuff for you guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, those questions on the exam and for my astrology class, I'm going to make a video for each answer. And I mean, that'll be a nice little project for me. That's an, my, Mars is still retrograde, right? I live in this universe too. So I think that's a nice little Mars retrograde project for me. I'll, uh, make a little video of the answers to the questions, you know, like signs of going to jail in your astrological charts and obvious signs of divorce and, um, you know, signs of running away from home, maybe some signs of suicide in a chart. And so there you go. Like, you know, we'll check it out. <laughs> so that might be fun. That might be a fun little project. <laughs> okay. Whatever, whatever. All right. Whatever. All right. Aquarius, here we go. That sounds like fun. So you think Okay, he's really cute. He's really like that. Okay, here we go. Aqua, you're up. Okay, what's the deal, man? All right. Or maybe not. Frank, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Now that I tell everybody what I'm going to do, it's not really a surprise. Okay, so here you go, Aqua. Full moon. Booba da -ba. Full moon. I, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, the full moon is actually right now. You're going to uncover secrets. Secrets are going to be revealed. It's quite an interesting full moon. It's, it's, it's happening. It really is. Okay, so where is this full moon happening for Aquarius? And we're, we're moving forward from the full moon. Obviously, these are the weekend horoscopes. So moving forward, Aquarius, something is going to be uncovered about your children about some, or a creative project, romantic life creative project. Uh, Mars is down in this part of the chart. So I do think Aqua's kids are in trouble. So... Uh, certain, you know, I think Libras are having problems with the kids, and I think Aquarius are having problems with the kids. Aqua, Aqua Risings. So make sure you double check those guys. You know, for Aquas, there could be problems with pregnancy right now, maybe miscarriage, abortion, accidental pregnancies. Watch out for all of that. Fighting with the kids, the kids getting sick, something bad happening to the kids. You guys get the point. <laughs> right. On top of all of that, this also leads to excessive partying as well <laughs> excessive partying lack of commitment so aqua watch out for all of that on the other hand it could be a lot of fun now i'm going on and on about this because that's where the full moon is it's <laughs> like a, like the full moon is right there and not only that the moon it's going to linger you know normally i talk about applying aspects and separating aspects but this particular full moon is going to linger a little bit it's going to take a while for everything to come to light and in addition to that, the it's quite potent. The full moon, the Mars is quite part is quite a big part of this. And then as the moon arcs through, uh, Venus is and Mercury are going to come into play. So this again, this full moon energy or this moon on display. Although that moon on display is changing color from the uh, the planet over here, highlighting it, you know, sending its energy this way or sending its light beams of light that way. Although it's whatever the color, it's going to it's going to linger, okay? What does that mean, Sonic? Well, it means the problems, if you have a problem with the kid, it's going to linger for a bit. If you have a problem in love, it's going to linger a bit. If you party it up, that party's going to be all weekend long. Uh, that's the deal. So whatever's happening, it's going to happen. Towards the second half of the weekend, you're going to want to take care of your health and habits. It looks to me like Aqua is actually is going to super party it up this weekend and they're going to be in recover mode on the, uh, sat, you know, on Sunday, they're going to work on their health and habits <laughs> towards the end of the weekend. So this actually looks a lot of fun. <laughs> this looks a lot of fun. So Aqua, get out there and have fun. More information. 
Venus is about to switch into Capricorn. So you've had a pretty good Aquarius. Everywhere you've gone, every, you've been well received. Everybody likes you. They like you. You're looking good. Friends into lovers. Everybody wanted to jiggy with you. Everything was kind of like, hey, Aqua, you looking good? And you're like, thanks, just friends. <laughs> like, anyways, that's what's going like that's what was going on. But now Venus is gonna Venus is about to cruise through the twelfth house. And when it does, uh you're gonna probably get involved in some kind of secret relationship or something you're gonna do something uh good is gonna happen to you behind the scenes and somewhat hidden from the light. It's an exciting time. Uh, it is an exciting time. You can expect secret admirers and secret gifts. And there you go. There you go. Uh, on the bummer side, you know, good fortune and money is sort of moving on shortly. And you should have uh, luck and success very shortly in sales, communication, and generally good luck and fortune with your brothers, sisters, and friends. This should be a, This should be a nice year for Aquarius with regards to friendships and socializing. It really should. It should be it should be fun for Aquarius. It's going to start everything is going to start in a little bit of a secretive mode. Uh but I think everything is going to be pretty good. Aqu it's going to be Aquarius good. I don't know that it's good for all signs, but for Aquarius this is going to be pretty good. All right. Fre you're still in a friends and a lovers transit, okay? So if you're looking for love or money, check with your friends. All right. Next Wow, Pisces, are you guys still there? Oh, Pisces, the worst comes in so long. <laughs> yeah, really. You know what? Maybe if I am recording them like this, it's not the biggest deal to chop them up a little bit uh, into more individual signs, except that's a lot of thumbnails, guys. <laughs> so, thumbnails thumbnails are the bane of my YouTube existence. You wouldn't believe the amount of videos I, I, I put out and I don't publish because I can't Get a oh, thumbnail, write a description, tag it. Oh, it's okay. oh man, that's worse than going to school. Okay, next, Aquarius, Seven of Cups. Here you go, Seven of Cups, indecision. So, what are you gonna do? Well, you know the, the good thing, the weird thing about the Seven of Cups. It's, you know, you're gonna have choices. It's <laughs> like it seems a little bit negative. Right? Because the answer, look at this, on the answer portion of it, it's uh, it's maybe, right? <laughs> it's maybe. So opportunities, wishful thinking, choices, illusions, it's um, it's indecisiveness, Aquarius. Uh, you're, it's, you're gonna have a lot of opportunities, a lot of cups, right? A lot of opportunities, but <clears throat> uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be sure which one to to choose. And there we go. Then we have the Page of Wands. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> the Page of Wands, uh, becoming inspired in something. You know, the wands kind of get out and do it. The wands are uh, having confidence. Oh, one second. The wands having confidence and uh, inspiration. And the pages are all very innocent and beginner, beginner energy, right? Inspiration, ideas, discovery limitless potential oh free spirit there you go aqua get out and have some fun like i don't know that I, I haven't seen any cards and i didn't see anything in the astrology that said that you have to make any choice here uh i didn't say, see anything that said that i don't know that in your life you have to make any choices mars is goofing off in the fifth house which is stressing your life out in addition to that Right behind it, Uranus is uh un is causing instability where you live. This is <laughs> get out and have some fun, Aqua. I wouldn't stress anything out. Next, ba ba ba. Oh, but this I would stress out. Money is gonna get a little bit uh sucky bananas, Aqua. Look at this, the five of uh five of coins or five of pentacles in this particular deck. It's going to um. Look at that, and it's reversed as well. So it indicates it indic the cards indicate there's a bit of a financial situation happening where you know you might be recovering something, you might recovering from something. So maybe that indecision or that lack of like really going for it 
uh, is because of money. Look at this. This guy really wants to go do it. And so whatever it is that you want to do, this guy really wants to do it. Uh, but you s this, the reading says you're holding yourself back because of money. And it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay. There's nothing here that says you have to make a decision or someone's doing anything bad to you or that there's anything. It's just you really want to do it. And if I know Aquas, you really want to do it. So, you know, money's going to be tight. But if you really want it, you know, you can do it. Uh, you just got to make up your mind. All right. Next. Here we go. You guys ready? <laughs> here we go. And finally, dearest Pisces. Here we go, Pisces. What's, well, look at this. Well, is this, look at this. Pisces, such good, whoops, such good things are happening to you out in the world, you know, and they're going to continue to happen. Wow, that's just amazing. Now, Venus is going to cross over from Sagittarius into Capricorn soon. This weekend, it's still in Sagittarius, so this is still a fun weekend. Actually, I got to say, I didn't bring this up. I'll bring it up in the weekly horoscopes. When Venus, because, you know, when it, you know, because it's kind of an aspect for next week. Uh, and when it happens, I'll tell you about it. But for it means everybody's happy right now. But when Venus enters Capricorn, everybody's going to be a little grumpy in love. <laughs> They're going to want to hold on to things like money and that kind of stuff. Anyways, whatever. For Pisces, this is a great time socially. It should be great. It, like, it should be amazing. Like, there. look at it. Okay, so problems. Let me, okay, let's do the full moon thing moving forward. So... For the full moon thing, problems at home. Pisces, that's where it is. So either a secret is going to come out at home, like you're sitting at home and you're like, oh, I'm a, <laughs> they're like, whoa, like that's, you know, so there's, that's going to happen or something about the house. You're going to find out something about the house. Maybe someone you're living with, maybe uh, one of your parents. Uh, there you go. There's also a possibility that it's problems with the parents, problems with the home. All right, what else? But that's, what's coming out okay that's the full moon that's where the light is going to shine that's where we're going to see everything in the second half of the weekend the moon is going to be in cancer and when the moon is in cancer it's a very romantic time for pisces so for the weekend it's going to start off dealing with this problem at home and then it's going to transition into having some fun or maybe dealing with the children all right there you go on the <clears throat> so that's the weekend Oh, Pisces. At the same time, you're still being blamed for everything, right? Saturn is way... Saturn is all by itself like, hey, blame me, blame me. I'm going to sit here and go... Ugh. I got to sit and be really grumpy at the 12th house. And that's what's going on. So you're still getting thing, blamed for things you didn't do. Uh, people are still trying to control you from behind the scenes. There's still some problems going on in the neighborhood. And it's, it's you know, delays from behind the scenes. Hidden stuff just holding you back. Whatever. You know, you got to deal with it. It'll be moving forward, right? And when it moves forward, uh, you know, in the spring, you're going to, you know, things are going to be a lot different. But so for now, just, you know, you're going to have a lot more discipline. But for now, just take it easy and enjoy yourself. Uh, as I've been saying, and as I'll continue to say, money is about to get very, very good, inspired, you know, big for Pisces. So Pisces, like, you should be, you should... Like, you're not going to get something if it's not there, guys. And I don't mean it astrologically. I mean, if, like, you don't have a job, you, like, this is money from your job. So if you don't have a job, you're not getting any money. <laughs> so, like, that's, that's the thing. You know, if you don't, you know, this is problems, you know, it's at home, right? It could be problems with the parents. If you don't have any parents, you know, <laughs> so, this, you know, that's just the way it is. So that's, so what I'm trying to say, Pisces, is right now you should be putting something really big into place or as big as you should you know reach beyond your imagination dream as big as you can make your biggest wishes uh, put your biggest wishes out into the world because venus is at the top of your chart in the world so don't just so don't just sit at home and make a wish go like physically go out, because that would be down here Right, that would be down here, and down here is not good. <laughs> so don't, so don't do that. So instead of physically sitting at home, physically go out into the world where you will be very well received. You are the spot. You are like very well received out in the world, and 
good things should be happening and get out into the world and start this big project. And because that's, you know, that's where your money is coming from next year. You're about to do something uh, pretty substantial where, and you're going to be financially successful. Over here, Venus is shortly by next weekend when it does enter into Capricorn, that is going to make you very popular socially. So instead of going into town and like people walking up to you and saying, hey, what's up, player? Like that kind of thing, right? Which is weird and weird enough. As when Venus crosses over into Capricorn, you're going to be very popular on social media. Uh, you, you know, you should, you might win an award uh, and you'll be popular with groups of people. It's a little bit weird. You know, I don't personally like going through it because when I'm going through it, like the gym is busy. They're like people always knocking on the door. You can't like get a break. You know, you go to walk the dog and like there's always like other people there. So that's, you know, but whatever. If you like that thing, then that's good. <laughs> so there you go. So there you go, Pisces. I wish you the absolute best. I hope it works out for you. Let's check your cards and see what else is up. You have to win awards. When you win awards, you have to go stand up and stage and like receive the award. Ooh, everybody's looking at you. And oh, man, you have to imagine that you wore underwear that day. Like, what the hell? Pisces, four of wands. Here you go. <laughs> there you go. Dearest Pisces, four of wands. Four of wands is a good card. I look at it as the card of moving on with things. Uh, it doesn't really mean that. It's They call it the card of joy, celebration, partying, marriage. But I, I look at it like this. I look at it as the final deacon of Aries. I look at it as coming from the three of wands. And the three of wands is a holding pattern in waiting. And then the four of wands, you move on. Uh, that's what I say anyways. But, you know, the cards say it's celebration, joy, harmony, marriage, home, community, homecoming. You know, I guess because the number four in astrology rules home. <laughs> so there you go. Although... In this particular, anyways, let's move on. So Pisces, it's time to get on with things. Okay, no more holding pattern. It's time to get on with things. From the four, you get on with it. And the five is everybody's busy doing it. So Pisces, time to get to work. Then we have the Knight of Cups reversed. Some kind of foolishness happened in your love game, Pisces. Maybe someone let you down romantically. Maybe you gave your heart away to someone who did not deserve it. Uh... <laughs> the knight of cups is falling in love it's being infatuated it's like wow man i can't believe she's she i can't believe she likes me <laughs> anyways that's what the knight of cups is creativity romantic charm imagination beauty you know the knight in shining armor that is this card unfortunately that knight is a nightmare oh <laughs> he fell off his horse and out of my dreams. <laughs> That's right, Pisces. Make sure this guy falls off his horse and out of your dreams and rides into yesterday. That Knight of Cups is reversed. So although it's time to get on, maybe it's time to stop waiting for Mr. Knight in shining armor, especially when he turns out to not be. Ooh. <laughs> ah. No, man, give the guy a chance. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it also, everybody, nobody's perfect. Okay, thanks. And finally, boom. Oh, <laughs> you see what happens. That's why I don't psychically give people second chances. Why I'm not supposed to. I do it to everybody, obviously, right? You, <laughs> as much as we talk about people. Anyways. Ba -ba -da! Three of swords reversed. Oh. You ain't giving nobody a second chance. You're going to swim away and Buddy's going to lagoon himself someplace else. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is the card of... What do you guys think? Good or bad? Duh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Heartbreak, pain, suffering, indigestion. <laughs> so like this card, divorce, loss, separation, depression... Ooh, the answer is, I don't think so, man. Reversed. What do you guys think it means reversed? Well, I'll tell you what it means reversed. So in this situation, we're going to go back a card. So in this re particular card reversed, which is the three of cards, it's actually someone letting you down. Remember, it's still 
intellectual energy. It's very Libra energy. Oh my God, the three <laughs> second deacon of Libra. Oh my God, she does have a boyfriend. <laughs> Can you even Libra? It's my fun. I, I make fun of Libra so much. Look at the three of hearts. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> You'd think it would be like a cancer, right? Always like heartbreak, but like, <laughs> no, it's like, okay, whatever. Whatever. So here we go. You have to go back a card. And when this card is reversed, you're going to go back to the two of wands. And the two of wands is about making, sorry, the two of swords. It's about making a decision. And that's it. Maybe Pisces, you're not happy with this decision that you made. And that's it. And you're going to have to reevaluate a decision. Anyways, this is really funny. So you have two choices here, Pisces. You can either, one, put up with the guy and his uh, quirks. What are you going to do? Uh, or not. Um, but be cool because he's going to definitely, uh, you know, there's heartbreak here. So watch out for it. Actually, this card means someone is going to behave in a way you didn't expect them to behave. Uh, and one of the ways that people do that is by breaking your heart. And so that's the deal with this. So it's up to you, Pisces, but I wish you the best. <laughs> All right, next. Stick around. We're going to do who's lucky in love. This week's weekend's lucky in lottery signs are the water signs, especially, uh, especially Scorpio. Whoa, Scorpio, especially Scorpio. Wow, Scorpio's actually really lucky this weekend. Scorpio's lucky in money, and Scorpio's lucky in love. Wow, and Scorpio's having weird stuff in their relationships. Okay, whatever. Back to the horoscopes. Anyways, whatever. So lucky are the water signs: Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. So lucky in the lottery are the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. And lucky in love, well, here's the interesting one. Lucky in love uh, should be, lucky in love, it's uh, going to be Cancer in the second half of the weekend. Cancer and Capricorn. Okay, Cancer and Capricorn with Sagittarius and Gemini heating up fast. Last weekend, Except the full moon, Sagittarius and Gemini, right? It's going to be pretty intense. Actually, for Sagittarians and Geminis, it's going to be an intense weekend. But that's the deal. Lucky in money, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Lucky in love, Cancer, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Capri Cancer, and Capricorn. With Cancer and with Sagittarius and Gemini heating up fast. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I made it! <laughs> Holy smokes. These horoscopes take forever. That's the action, guys. <laughs> everyone else be a super amazing, fantastic wing and pick up the check, yo. Wishing everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful week. Just be cool, guys. You know, keep your temper. Stay, you know, be quick to forgive. You know, slow to anger, quick to forgive. And <laughs> wishing everyone the best of a super beautiful day. And I'll see you guys soon.